Hello, you guys. How are you all? Thank you guys for being here. So it's been a minute since we've done calls. We are on the last section of March. Um, when I first scheduled it, I accidentally wrote April, but I have been editing the April calls for us. And I think if we get through these, then we'll get into those tomorrow. Um, but I'm just excited to see you guys. Hello, Mela's mom. Good to see you. Hey, Brandywine, Lil Red, Manslaughter, Man's Laughter, Manslaughter. Hello, Neat Noodle, Lucia, Michelle, Lori, Adrian. Hey, Deanna. Yay, you got a notification. Hey, Sexy Wild Thing, Carol Freaking Papa, Elvis Claus. Hello, Harlot, Kathy. Thank you guys for being here. Hey, Tony. Hey, Amber, Sherry. Let's see. <clears throat> Melissa Jade, Tiffany, good to see you, Sparkles. Thank you, Claus. Hey, Leanne. Hey, Sherry. Be friends with me. Hello. Okay, so let me go ahead and bring um, Bindi up so we can have a chat with her before we get started. Hello. Hello. How are you? I am well. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm better now. I did push it back 15 minutes, but I was starving and I just got home from the grocery store. I've been unloading <laughs> stuff. I still have grocery bags that aren't unpacked, like two of them, but they actually go to my mom's, but I'm not done like unloading it. Um, so yeah. We got to um, eat. I'm excited. I know. I, I, my stomach was touching my backbone for real. Oh, I, I say my stomach is eating a hole in my back. Okay. Well, mine was doing that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's, funny. it's funny how we have different sayings for that. Yes. Yeah, it is. Well, um, I'm oh, excited wait, to get wait, into wait, these wait. calls. It's been a minute. Okay. Mayla's mom passed. Hey, Greg. Passed. Yes. She passed her test. Yay. It's so Mayla's exciting. Mom. Yay. That's amazing. Congratulations. So proud of you. Yes. I'm so proud of you too. Hey, Thistle. Hey, Britt. Uh, Rosie, I was reading Neat Noodle's comments. Hey, Rosie, I don't see you, but let me scroll up. Something to talk about. Good to see you, Greg. Um, no, my hair did not curl. Well, okay, so last night I slept in one of those. Um, have you ever seen those things that like go over your head like this and you wrap your hair around it and it yes. curls? Yeah. You sleep in it? Well, I tried that last night and it did not work at all. And you guys, I also used a curling iron after and had it curled back again and it just fail so okay did you wash your is your hair clean like when's when did you wash it last i had just washed it but i accidentally fell asleep so it was dry okay that's number one number two um when you curled it you didn't you don't flat iron your hair right no no okay so you just leave it it does it yeah. first those uh curling like the foamy curly thingies you got to have it like at least damp okay and mm -hmm. number one and number two, um, and I, when I say damp, you need to dampen. And I know this sounds because of Letitia, but it's not the same thing. It needs to be dirty, damp hair. I don't know how else to say it. You <laughs> oh, have, uh, really go. good, clean hair does not hold curl like you want it. So you need like in the thumbnail, you mean that kind of hair? <laughs> No, we don't need to go, uh, you know, months on months without washing hair, <laughs> but like, you know, just maybe a day. <laughs> the thumbnail cracked me up. I did make some overlays. I don't know if I have enough and I hope that I have them in order, but we're going to listen until, you know, there's quite a lot of calls left. I, I don't know if we'll get through them all. What do you think? Um, This first batch is how many minutes? 40, uh, 30. Seven. Oh, let me see something. Um, yeah, thirty-seven, and then an hour and ten. I mean, listen. This is what I say we do. I say we go until we can go no mo, and whatever we don't, <laughs> whatever we don't finish, we'll finish over on my channel. And here's the deal. So we're going to start on the nineteenth. Okay, just to give you guys a brief recap. All right. The last calls that Amy, that uh, Letitia made were on the 18th, announcing that she was going to be in general population, right? And she wasn't sure when she was going to be able to talk to anybody. It might be a while. Okay. 
one day later. Nothing changed. The times uh, are a little different for her times out, but that's about it. Okay. That's all. That's all I wanted to point you. She's being dramatic and really dramatic with um, Harley the most. Not so much with Aunt Brenda, Kit, and and Amy, L, but <clears throat> a lot with Harley. Oh, you're right. Don't be throwing stuff around <laughs> and banging your. Okay, I'm okay. I kicked a chair, but I, okay. I'm <laughs> waiting for our very first. The I made some overlays for our calls. Let me just give you a little. Um, like oh here's our first one. Oh, but my. I did use. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. I used that in one of Melissa's like meme things, like for one of them. <laughs> Where is the one that I made? I have one that I made with Letitia and the Volturi. I need to send it to you. <laughs> oh. Yes, send it to me so we it's can use it. It's a good one because she's in that crazy, like it's the one from the courtroom where she's in that folding plastic chair but they're sitting in like this marble floored you know gorgeous and then their chairs are all like <laughs> antique and gorgeous and huge and she's just in like a, you know a picnic chair because <laughs> <laughs> we can use it in one of our and okay, plus i have to put it in I need your help. After I get done okay. fixing the audio for tomorrow mm -hmm. or for April, whenever we do it, I don't yes. know how to do like the picture on the screen on the computer. It's way different than the phone. So maybe you can help me. Oh, with that how to add it to a timeline? Like, no. So on the it, on the next calls that I'm editing, I right. have on cap all the audio. Mm -hmm. But then like on the screen, you can see the audio. Yeah, that's the from timeline. The okay. So uh, okay. what you want to do is... Um, detach audio after you have it all the way you how you want it right then you mm -hmm. then you want to detach the audio from the picture and then you delete the picture and you use whatever picture you want does that make sense okay. i'll help you i'll show you backstage when i'll show I, you how to do it okay yeah and when i get there um mm -hmm. i'll just like screen mm -hmm. share with you or something yeah just tell me what yeah just show me and i'll help you okay Okay, so our first call is Amy Lang. That I'm going to take the overlays off like we did last time so that we can all watch the um, closed caption if we want. But it's Amy Lang, March 19th, 2021 at 102 p.m. Yes, and so. just to let you know, um, Allie, this month you're doing CapCut. Next month I'll have you on uh, Rush and Final, uh, Final Cut Pro. I'll have you doing all the things. So. Oh, my. <laughs> Well, I've always really wanted to know how to do that stuff because I wanted, I've always wanted to make like more pre recorded videos. I've done it on the phone on my channel. I've got a few that I edited with little, you know, sound effects and stuff, but it's so different on the computer. And yeah, I think you that can it's do probably... more on the computer. Also, yeah. nobody yep. pay attention to these uh, numbers because they're not accurate. Um, I couldn't, I, the 39 is accurate. But I don't remember if it all if it goes all the way to 47, it may or it may not. I don't remember. I just needed to put something in the description. So that's how it happened. <laughs> just so you yeah, know. she's talking about like up here in the left the corner top. where it's yeah. Yeah, 39 through 47. And yeah, that's the just title. the title of the Yeah, don't worry video. about don't pay. No, never mind to that. The important thing is in the middle of your screen. Okay. okay. All right. Well, I'm excited. It's been a minute Ooh, since we've had has. to listen to this. Well, I was just listening to her this morning and I sent you a clip and Melissa and Wolfie in that uh, a clip too, where she says like, Hell, uh, what did she say? Hey, you know, I don't know how much longer I'm going to live because they're, yeah. they're going to want to cut my head off or Correct. something like that. Correct. Oh my Correct. God. Some crazy ass shit she saw on the internet. Shut up, Tisha. All right, yeah. here we go. <laughs> Cab cut is awesome and easy. Oh, Queen Bean, thank you for joining. I appreciate that so much. Okay, ready? Yep. Let's go. Okay. Michelle McKinney, I'm so glad that you caught her live too. You both rock. Thank you. That's Thank sweet. you okay. very much. Hey. Hey, what's up? Oh, my head hurts so bad. What's, what's going on today? Oh, I just feel like the pipes are going to fall. I, I'm freaked out. Everything is so different. I'm used to being in zombie mode. I freaked out thinking that the sewer was going to fall. I'm scared of soft stuff. Did you get 
Did you get moved yet? Or yeah, are you still? Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I I got moved, but like it's just weird. Like I I I haven't been around people, so I just I'm freaked out. <sighs> I so it screwed my you. brain. It screwed like they jacked up my brain over there. Like, I've been yeah, like, like I'm on crack. After being in, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm oh, sorry. I understand. It's like I'm on crack or something, walking around like <laughs> shaking and freaking out, and I can't get enough drink to water, water to drink. I feel like I'm about to pass out. <sighs> have you, have you had any interaction with anybody else yet? Well, a couple of the people knew me from the other ward, and they just kind of said stuff to the other girls, like, hey, don't judge people. You know, I had to go through the verbal part, you know, which is always. But um, I've been out. It's kind of, you don't really get the three hours out because you have to lock down for, like, meds, and then you have to lock down for lunch and like, all this stuff. So you really get, like, an hour and a half. Oh, okay. So we're not really much more than what you were getting. <laughs> no, but I did hear a song for the first time. I got the tablet and I played one. One. Well, I was looking for a gospel station, but I could, they didn't have any on there. They just had like, uh, I can't find where it says iHeartRadio, which I'm definitely not about to ask anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I went through the little music stations and I played two country songs, which it ain't bad because you only get charged three cents a minute. Well, that's not bad. Oh, wait, wait, they charge you to listen to music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on the tablet. Remember the tablets that I can't do? And I think you can go in there now and message me. Or, oh, cool. Uh, I'll have to look and see. Yeah. Because uh, my name should show up on there now. But I'm going to call my dad when I get off here, too, and I'm going to mm-hmm. have him put money on my tablet uh, because that way I can, like, do music and stuff like that. You can get a radio, but you can only order $35 a week, right? And yeah. Board. So I went over there and I ordered food, obviously. And I said, next time I wait, next week I'll order a radio. You know what I mean? Well, at least you're getting more benefits. I mean, that's good. I'm sure listening to music was probably awesome. It was weird. The song came on. I didn't know it. You know, like, I'm very versatile in country music. And I, you know, before coming in here, I, you couldn't play a country song that I didn't know. So I was like, I turned it on. And I had to, like, I got there in the tablet, put in my ear, looking at the tablet. They're all looking <laughs> at me like, they probably think this girl is on some drugs or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have to understand, you just came out of isolation for what it's been a year now right yeah and then the one girl came over and she was like oh you're that chick i said i'm not even getting involved in this and i walked off yeah it's the best way to do it i was i told my husband uh yesterday when he got home from work about that yeah. and uh he was like how's that gonna go over and i was like well i'm not concerned about you know what you'll do what you'll do or what you'll say because i know that you can handle yourself pretty well i'm like i said you got your head on your shoulders i just you know how people are they're like trying to provoke fights yeah, and, like, you had to watch, I had to constantly stand here and watch my back, because, you know, I don't know, like, you know, they could, I don't know if they really do this, but I know, like, in guys, the guys upstairs, they'll pay somebody to, like, go down and just hit somebody blindside them. You know what I mean? Which yeah. Like, oh, so we're talking about yeah. You know what I mean? I don't think the, the women are that, in, in that many gangs or stuff like that, you know? Like yeah, guys, I mean, um, yeah. But, you know, they might be, I don't know, but. I'm with this group. I don't talk to any of them. I don't know any of them from the old world before. I wish I could have gotten a group that was on the bottom tier under me because there was four of those girls that came in the Alpha 2 that were like, oh, my God. They really spoke to me last night. They were like, don't worry. We got you back. Don't worry about it. I'm like, you ain't even on my time out. But, okay, they like. <laughs> so they were like <laughs> we just meant, like, you know, we, we ain't going to turn your back, our back on you. And I was like, all right. But, um, do, you, uh, do you have to, like, share... What they call them, pods or whatever, just to share a pod with other people? Well, what they did is I, when I signed that paper yesterday to come off of protective custody, I signed, I put on there, I want to be a single cell or, you know, by myself. Um, because, you know, I got all my discovery, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I didn't want, you know, I have to keep that on my room, too, because, you know, my discovery's in there, and the shower's right side of my room. But I got yeah. the bottom of the ball and stuff like that. I'm definitely, I'm definitely in my skip right now. Because, you know, everybody was so I had a yeah. oh. panic attack when I came in here. I was sick. I couldn't breathe. Oh, I bet. People were I'm sorry, me. my child is singing. <laughs> okay, people were around me. and The deputies came in the room by themselves, so it was the first time they didn't come with an entourage. So I was, like, so confused, like, looking around, like... <laughs> And then I got to walk through the hallway without the strength, and so I'm like freaked out. Like I'm thinking somebody's coming to kill me. Oh well, man, yeah, I I was worried about you because I didn't know um, if you were getting moved last night or today. Hold on a second. 
Go downstairs. I'll get your snack. Go. Yes, go downstairs. But, uh, yeah, no, I was worried about you because I was like, I don't know if she's getting moved last night or today. And then I know I knew it would be very overwhelming for you. Oh, yeah. The whole change in scenery and, you know, being around people. And, yeah. and I, didn't I definitely sleep. said my prayers last night for you. Thank you. I didn't sleep because I I didn't know. Like, it, it's just, I'm just so in my schizo mode right now. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mean feel this is real. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so, like, I, I've had a hard time struggling with that. But, um. I put on my armor of God, you know, I woke up before I came out and I went over Ephesians 6, you know, and I talked about putting on the breastplate of righteousness and my belt of truth and my gospel shoes and my hope and salvation, you know, and I read Ephesians 6 and I said, prayed. And I said, I'm going to do that every day, you know, and, you know, just go through it that way. Oh, I was going to tell you something. You think yeah. I could tell that lady that they brought my hard drive discovery, but they said they're not giving them a copy. But they did bring mine and, and ask her, does she want me to bring it to the next visit? Yeah, hold on, let me. So they, they brought it, they brought it to the jail, but they're not going to give it to her? Yeah, they're not going to give it to her. They said they'd only be one hard drive. And so they have the hard drive here under a lockbox. And um, okay. so they, um, so I guess I just needed to know, like, if she would just let you know, like, let me know when she's coming. I can take, because I have to get the hard drive out of a hard box, out of a box, out of a lock box. Okay. I have to get a sergeant to do it. Yeah, I'm typing it up. That way I can grab my phone here. Well, put my yeah, phone yeah. here in a minute and then text it. Um, how how do you want me to word it? So we'll say, it, it don't matter. You can just say uh, that I said they, they did bring my hard drive and they said that the advisory council would not get a copy. Okay. And does she want me to bring the hard drive with me to her next visit? Okay. All right. I typed it on my computer so I can look at it and then text it real quick. Yeah. Yeah, she, uh, she texted back. Or I texted her yesterday. I just said, um, I texted her back and just wanted to thank you for, you know, helping you out. And then yeah. I forget what she said, but she was confused as to why they were like I guess gonna be removing her restraints and all that stuff or whatever and then she asked what my name was but I just told her I gave her my real name yeah yeah I mean, she, well this is what they she, said if she asked you you can tell her but this is what they said you know they 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 basically were saying they made a good point uh one of the people at the jail they made a good point they said you know your attorneys never really mentioned that the restraints was impeding your process and working with your working with your defense team and uh, ah they never yeah. really mentioned that. Now, now, whether or not that's the true case, that's the card they can play, then, you know, fine, all is well. I don't have nothing against the jail. You know what I mean? At this point, they made it right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not that person to hold grudges and, you know, do all that stuff. So they made it right on that. So I guess what I'm saying is they made a good point about that because they were like, you're, and you could tell her that if she asked, you know, you want to tell her you got the answer about the restraints. But, um, they just said, you know, like, hey, your your defense never reached out to us about anything like that, you know. And I, I would always talk to my defense about that, and they'd be like, we can't control what the jail does. I said, but we're, come on, we're, you guys are professionals. You can't sit down and have a conversation. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Like, I had to go pro se just to, like, participate in my own defense. Like, come on. And I yeah. think I, I do put a lot of blame on the attorneys because they would not, they could have probably called the commander. They probably, called, probably could have set up a meeting and seek some questions and answers. And I'm pretty sure he'd have been very professional and work with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, the way he handled it after it, it seems as if he was trying to do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad that they're starting to get all of this straightened out, but you would think that, Anybody with common sense would be aware that you being under full restraints as often as you were was going to not only just hinder the process of you looking up your information, but a whole lot of other stuff, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. But I don't know if you that, so you could let her know that, because I think I could email her, but I'm not sure how that works yet. I just got the the system and I've been trying to play around with it and I'm surely not about to ask people I'm just still so freaked out looking at a tablet because I'm a fall one you know so I'm trying to get past that yeah <sighs> but yeah that's that so but I'm going to call my dad real quick so he can put some on there so I can listen to music and stuff and then um okay I'll talk to you I sent you a request for the visit I got it down pat how it goes is 
like we rotate like today was 11 to 2 depending on whether you have to lock down or not then like tomorrow we 36 then 6 to 9 and then 5 a.m to 8 a.m like that that's how it goes like a three hours okay starting at 5 a.m in the morning and going on you rotate each day i got you okay so I sit yeah, I got, I got it would be like eight your time eight something your time Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I got your request and I accepted it, so we should be good okay, to cool. go. And then I'll just shut my Wi-Fi off and stream it through the data. Cool. Um, yeah, I sent, I'm getting ready to send this text out to her, so the next time that we talk, I'll let you know what she says back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you could share any of that with her that I I told you she asked me questions about like the restraints, but especially part okay. about they really said that the attorneys never, never, you know, reached out to them saying it was impeding the process. You know. So. Yeah. Now. Before I send this, is it the prosecution that's not going to give her a copy of the hard drive, or is it CJC? No, the prosecution, the, the DA, okay. the, the girl came, the like DA investigator, and she yeah. said, she said no, it's just one hard drive. And she said, we're not giving them a copy. She said, your copies are their copies. And I asked okay. her that right in front of everybody. Cool. All right, talk okay. to you later. All right, bye. Yeah, have fun with your music. All right, thank you. Bye. <laughs> bye. Okay, sorry, had to cough. Oh my God. I know. Okay. <laughs> I know. I know. Now, I can't remember if this is the one or if I even did it at all. I did find the video of Letitia hollering about, you know, at the at, on New Year's Eve talking about shots, but like she's off. Be I mean, the song is not difficult. All it is is shots, 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 shots. Everybody, it's not hard. Bitch is all the way off, off beat. She's singing, they're singing the OT part, and she's just singing, the, she's just starting with the SH part. It's ridiculous. She <laughs> sounds ridiculous. She looks ridiculous. She can't, she ain't got no damn rhythm. And I thought that I put it in on one of these. I just can't remember if I did or not. If I didn't, I will um, do it for tomorrow or something. Wait, you know? that's the one where she's like dancing from the yeah. side? If it's that's what so you long. call that. If that's what you call it, <laughs> dancing. She looks more like she's, I, I don't even know what to call that. <laughs> that is so funny. Hey, Steve, you guys, so Big Weavy, that's the channel I told you about that, um, it was a guy I actually used to live next door to, and he's doing really great. We were both in active addiction together, and um, he's doing really great. And, yeah, it's just so cool to see him. Will B came and told me that he had a channel, and he said he knew me. So, anyways, thank you for being here, Steve. And you guys go. Um, Wolfie, will you grab his channel link and just put it in the chat? He doesn't do true crime or anything, but he has done. He did an interview with one of the people that was with Tupac when all, like when he was killed. And he's done some cool interviews and stuff. So I think that you guys might like it. And otherwise, he's just a great guy. Even when we were in active addiction, not to get too far off of the Letitia stuff, but even back then, he was one of the only people I could count on. Sorry, move that chair. He was one of the only people I could count on to be truthful and just be there for me and be like level headed. Um, so he's just a really great guy. So I would love if you guys would go check him out. I love that. I'll definitely go check him out. I promise. Awesome. Okay. So my notes, I started with huh, the pipes and the ceilings are going to fall and she's not used to this. She's used to being in zombie mode. Now, is she meaning like zombie mode from being on all the meds? No, I think what she's talking about is the people around her are like zombies mm -hmm. because they're all medicated. And I mean, look, this heffalump out here acting like she, she, she just moved places in the jail. All right, Letitia, you didn't move like to a different planet or something where the gravity is all funky and, you know, you got to you got to get used to it or anything. I mean, come on. I'm dizzy. I can't get enough water. Shut up. So ridiculous. The pipes yeah. are going to fall on you. <laughs> um, Letitia. They screwed up my brain. I feel like I'm on crack, she said, and they screwed up my brain. Um, How do you see. know what, what being on crack feels like? <laughs> Let's start I don't there. Know. She, seems, she seems to know maybe what some mm -hmm. speed feels like. So, mm. 
but I don't know. That's just an assumption mm. based on her actions. What about the, okay, so this kind of surprised me because I knew in prison that you could have, you know, TVs and all the different things. Um, but she's in jail still at this point and she's mm -hmm. got this tablet and she's able to watch whatever, including she listened to two country songs and they charge her three cent a minute. It's like, I hate that she even has access to that. I'm sorry, but it just gross. Yeah, I did for too. What she did that, yeah, I, I did just, too. I did too. I did too. And then the only other thing in my notes is um, her talking about her, the schizo mode and then her having her hard drive discovery. What, what did, was she talking about there? Okay. So um, they, there was a motion remember um, about how much paper Letitia could have in her jail cell at one time. And so uh, some of the um, like discovery is on a hard is on a hard drive. It's not a hard drive. It's on a thumb drive. She's an idiot. Um, they they don't. I mean, a hard drive is the computer. What are you talking about, Tisha Lynn? Like, shut up. It's a thumb drive. Okay. okay that's that's what just, I was like. Huh? Yeah, yeah. She's just walking around with a whole entire thumb drive. Shut, I mean, a whole entire hard drive. Shut up, Tisha. Um, oh, so yeah, that's what she's talking about. Some of the stuff is on is on a thumb drive or a flash drive. Okay. So, all right. Yeah. Let me, I've pulled up the jail file. Let me just see here. So we had that incident at last on March 17th. Okay. So this is March 19th and there is an incident. We have another inmate was upset after finding out inmate Stalk is in blank. So this was authored by deputy Kimberly Lee on March the 19th, or it was actually, yeah, she wrote it on, well, it happened on March 19th. I don't know when she filled it out, but, um, she says, on March 19th, I was assigned to floor security on shift three. At approximately 11.45, I unlocked blank and blank. Inmate blank approached the deputy workstation and asked for hygiene products. Inmate blank also asked if she had inmate blank, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so a, welfare, a few welfare checks later, I observed inmate Stalk in the video visitation section of the ward and inmate blank was asking who she was because she looked familiar. As I was finishing my check, inmate blank yelled, Miss Lee, that's why you told me I can only help if I behave. Inmate blank was standing in front of the deputy workstation toward the right side of it and dropped everything in her hands, including cleaning supplies and hygiene products. I walked over to the inmate who was crying and told her she made a promise to behave today, so I'm holding her to that promise. I told inmate blank I will lock her down if I need to, but I knew because she respected me as much as she said she does that she will not do anything. Inmate blank replied, my heart hurts right now. Listen to this. Mm -hmm. So I told this inmate to pick up her stuff and stay to herself before returning to the workstation. At approximately 1,200 hours, I was conducting a welfare check of the ward and observed inmate blank standing, so around noon, and observed inmate blank standing at cell blank, which housed inmate blank. When I approached the inmates, I asked them if they were okay. Both inmates said no. I asked, what is going on? And one of them looked in the direction where Stalk was standing. Inmate blank looked at me and asked, how can I be so friendly to someone who is a kid killer? I told inmate blank and inmate blank wearing my badge, man, I will protect anyone who walks in my ward, no matter what the charge they have. Inmate blank said a lot of people have children and it's not right that stout can walk around the ward like nothing happened. I told both inmates I will react accordingly and ask if there would be any problems. And they responded with no, because they respect me. Wait, go scroll back up a little bit. A little bit more, a little bit more. Uh, I was looking for something there. Hold on a second. Just stop right there. You're good. Okay. So there you go, guys. Like we've talked about this so many times, but when you, when someone is in jail for killing a child, do you know how many people are in jail for bad checks or drinking and driving or drugs or just all kinds of things that are not violent at all? And they're away from their kids who they love and they want to be with, but mm -hmm. Stalk is in there for killing one of hers, you know, her stepchild, but still one of hers. And that would be infuriating. Yeah. And, and not only. Go ahead. No, Sorry, you finish. No, baby, you finish. You were talking. I was just saying, oh, I was done. I was just going to say, and I can understand that. I would, yes. You know. And I think it's the fact that that last sentence, 
It is um, right here. A lot of people have children, and it is it is not right that inmate Stout can walk around the ward like nothing happened. That's what it is. She yep. walks around, and, you know, she's bougie as hell, uppity, all the things. You know, she's riding 11 billion kites a day. So, yep. I mean, you know, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely yeah. ridiculous. And that's why the inmates are not, uh, you know, they're not feeling it because she's not, she's not keeping to her. She's walking around. You know how she's walking around all indignant and, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, that's what she said. And inmates, so this report, this is the jail file, which I've read through the entire thing on um, this tidbits of Tisha series I did, but so in this jail file, they're, they redact everybody else except mm -hmm. for Letitia. So as you see this inmate blank here, like that right there, that is other people that are involved in this incident that they can't name because they only have, you know, we requested Letitia's stuff, anything that involves Letitia. Um, so, yeah, the, these inmates, this is an officer who's written the report and she's describing how these inmates were upset that she was even nice to Letitia because of what she did. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we do have another one on March 21st. So I'll just wait until we get there to get to that one. Okay. 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 So our so next the call. Next, let me... Yeah. The next call is with her dad. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> March <laughs> 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 I love when you laugh too. It just makes me laugh so much. I just love it. But <laughs> that is not photoshopped or anything. That is real. You like my cackling? I, no, I love it. It just I love it so much. <laughs> it's like from the soul, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> that face she's making. <laughs> and look at her journey. <laughs> he looks like underneath that suit and tie, he's got a t shirt that reads, You're fucked either way. Oh my God. <laughs> His face. I didn't even look at him. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> like it started to hurt my face and my chest. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, I see Alex, your favorite person has arrived. <laughs> this is her looking at us, Kathy said. <laughs> Look at her lawyer at socket. <laughs> <laughs> the lawyer is what took me out. <laughs> 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 this oh is during God. the trial, you guys. Um, <laughs> hello, 666 slash. Okay, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right. Let me... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let me see. I'm not going to make it. I need to mute. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Uh, okay, just a little schizo right now. Okay, yeah. Uh, they put me in a uh, general population now. What's that? What that mean? I'm kind like of I'm, new. I'm not segregated anymore. Okay. So like Is that another, good or bad? No, it's good. I'm in another ward, so I just I just put in my order. I can finally order food, so maybe I'll gain some weight back. Hmm. Yeah. Because <laughs> I you I'm lost the how much how much weight you lost. Like 28 pounds. Oh, God, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even yeah. know what to, I didn't know what to order. I was so freaked out because I haven't been around people. If someone touched my hand, like this lady gave me a handshake, and I freaked out because, you know, I mean, I haven't touched a human being in a year. <laughs> yeah. So I was yeah. just freaking out, and my, my anxiety is through the roof, and I keep thinking, like, the pipes are going to fall, and the fans are going to fall, and, you know, because everything's so different. There's, like, people everywhere, you know, and I just keep. Yeah. They probably think I'm, I'm on like some drug or something because I'm like, all like crazy. Well, at least something's in your favorite, huh? At least, yeah. 
Well, you yeah. know, the other night I was, I was, you know, I was having it hard, and, and God wrote me up and was like, "Hey, go open up your, uh, open up the scripture to Joseph." You know, it was talking about Joseph being incarcerated, and eventually, you know, he helped the prisoners, then he helped the king. You know, and then mm-hmm. he was, I swear to you, he was like, "There's a miracle about to happen." Well, they got me up that next morning, and then they took me down to my investigator, and she got to see my. We got to talk about my evidence that's going to clear me, and she. We talked about that for a little while, and then you have one minute remaining. Yeah. So after we did that, then they came in and they were like, "We're moving you so you can, you know, be in population, but you got to remember, it's going to be dangerous. You just got to do this, this, and this." So obviously, I'm facing the battle of the danger because you know mm-hmm. people are harsh, you know. And but I just put on. I just kept broke up this morning and put on the armor of God and kept praying. And I was like. I don't got nothing to say to these people. They can run their mouth. One more day closer to being done, you know? Yeah, that, hey, that's all you can do is put in God's hand and let him handle it. Because, hey, it's out of your hands and our hands. All we can do is to pray and keep continuing on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ah. yeah. I think it's going to hang up. I think, it's out of, I think your, your thing might have ran out. But I didn't get those okay. books. I never got them. So I well, to... they, uh, you should be got them, but now. No. I, I sent them. them. I checked my property. I checked the mail room. They were like, nope. Oh. Yes, yeah, so you might want to check the tracking. I got the tracking number because I can go back. I'll fight this. I'll do that Monday. Thank you for using Global Tell Link. Hello? Hello? Hey. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, first of all, did her dad actually send her those books? I'm really curious about that. You know what, Allie? I've been wondering about that myself, and I honestly don't know. But she has nagged him every single time she's gotten on the phone with him about those books. Um, well, yeah. So it, she's, you know. Yep. She hey, has. Tisha, when you put on your armor of God, did it fit? You know, because oh, Aunt Brenda said you're humongous, baby. <laughs> yeah, and guess what? Kenny's the one who told her, remember? Your dad seen you. <laughs> <laughs> I can finally order food. Lord have mercy. Uh-huh. I've lost oh, so okay. much and weight. 28 pounds. Y'all, we've been all mm-hmm. through that jail file. And um, she ain't lost 28 ounces. Shut up, Tisha. <laughs> <laughs> Um, ta, ta, two D, mom times three, and cats. Hello, I'm so glad that you're here too, and hope that we can get you through cooking dinner. Um, and then hey, Tinkerbell, Sam says, can Bendy do some more singing, please? Oh <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so let's see. So the way the call starts with Dad, mm-hmm. he says, "How are you? I'm um, okay. Just a little schizo right now." <laughs> so yeah. he's like, uh, <laughs> okay, here comes Tisha. Here yeah. comes Eeyore bitching again. Mm-hmm. And then, okay. So the gin pop thing that I want to know more about this Joseph, cause I have not read the Bible like that. And Me I don't either. know the story of Joseph being incarcerated. We should look at that. Cause she was obviously looking at it. But I can assure you that Joseph wasn't in, in, incarcerated for unaliving a child. Oh yeah. So, hey, Sarah. Well, we should still look into it just to try to see what she was looking at at the time. That would be interesting. Um, Lord only knows. Yeah. (laughs) Nails and braids back in. And also Pitbull, thank you for joining. Oh, yay, Pitbull. Then she says, um, God told me there's there's a a miracle about to happen. <laughs> so then she meets with her attorney and she gets to show him her evidence that's going to clear her. And, you know, now she's in gin pop. She's just got to face this battle with danger. But the the part that, <laughs> well, you know, I woke up today and I put on the armor of God and just kept praying. What? Shut up, Tisha. Listen, <laughs> I don't want to knock anybody's faith. You know, faith is a good thing and it's very personal and all of that. And I'm not knocking. It's not. It's not faith that I'm knocking. It's her. Oh my God! I'm done with you. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> it's so blurry because it's far away, but it's you. Oh my God! The heart, girl. Bye. 
<laughs> oh, you just wait. You're in for a surprise. Don't oh, my you worry. God. <laughs> I tried to fix the overlay so you guys could get just a little chuckle Is in between. Is she wearing the Motel 6 curtains? Is that what you're wearing, Tisha Leanne? <laughs> What's that? Yes. The Motel 6 shower curtain? What's going on there? Tess said, Allie, you're a monster. Mayla's mom, I cannot with you, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are funny. And then um, Michelle says, I love when T Jen Lee says, shut up, Tisha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my what gosh. is she making, a portal to hell? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly. Exactly. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, we love you too, Stephanie. I'm so glad you guys get a good laugh out of it because, yeah, it's pretty tough stuff that we talk about. However, the calls at least give us a little break from all of the really <laughs> dark part cases. Yes. Know? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, right, listen, well, anytime I can take an opportunity to make fun of some teaching, and I'm going to do it. And I don't feel guilty. <laughs> I got no regrets. None. <laughs> No regrets. No regrets. Zero um, regrets over her. She totally looks like she is wearing shoulder pads. I don't know the answer to that, but in this screenshot, it does appear that she could be. I remember. <laughs> She's made some modifications to the Motel 6 shower curtain. Way to go, Tisha. Uh -huh. You're so fashion. Yes, yeah, so fashion. There you go. Okay. All right, let's go. All right. This is hard. Well, let me actually rewind it 10 seconds. Wait, am I? I didn't take the thing off, did I? No. Okay, just a second. And then, because, yeah, okay. I got the tracking number because I can come back. I'll practice this. I'll do that Monday. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello? Hello? Hey, guess what? This tablet has Caleb on it. Huh? This tablet has Caleb on it. Yay! But I need money on it. <laughs> I put a hundred. I put a hundred and fifty dollars on your account. Yeah, no, but I'm talking about that's on my Access Corrections account. I need it on the other account too. So um, I need you to send that, send me that paper because I can put money on there with that out of that account. You know what I mean? Okay. Hey, Brenda gave you the hundred fifty. Wait. Um, she's gonna give it to me next week. Um. Um, what was I gonna say? Wait, so you need money on on which one now? The the video one? Yeah, because you can listen to music on that one. But it shouldn't uh -huh. take a lot because it's only five cent a minute. Okay. And uh, so I just play the music. Well, there's a picture of Blake Shelton. and I forgot what he looked like. <laughs> Guess what? They gave me a pair of socks. Really? Yeah. yeah I like fell to the ground and started praising Jesus. Oh, that's I know. Good. Yeah, I was going crazy because, like, I feel like the stuff's gonna fall. Cause, you know, like I've been, like I, like I'm around to like all these people now, and like, um, I mean, you yeah, have to be careful because it could be dangerous, you know, that type of thing. But like, I feel like these pipes are about to fall. Like, it's just a different scenery. There's no zombies in here, so I'm kind of weirded out a little bit. But you said there's none. No, because there was like all the people were zombies in the other world, but there's no zombies in here. There's actually little people in here. Oh, yeah. And then someone touched my hand, and I freaked out because I hadn't mm -hmm. felt anybody touch my hand. Mhm. Mm yeah, it was pretty weird. I, I, I was I was up all night, like like thrown out from anxiety about it. Oh gosh. I know because they like really jacked my head up with it. You know, like I I've been a bit by myself. And I've seen nothing but zombies walk around all day, you know? Yeah. But, um, so I was going to tell you that, um, yeah, I need to send off that thing because you got to pay that other thing too. And it's due on the 20 something. That's why I've been asking you for I, that paper. I got it. I got it. Do you, um, because you can't let that thing lapse. Okay. You had to do a medical exam and all that for it. Okay. And now they're about to go crazy as heck in the head. <laughs> if it collapses. Mm -hmm. I can't get the cable part to connect. 
I don't know if the uh, thing is like, um, oh, hit play there. Is that what I do? I had to make an iHeartRadio account. And I just, it asked me for uh, email. Okay. Asked me for email. And I was like, I don't know what I didn't get that email. But then I just put my Yahoo email. <laughs> it worked. It let me create an account. I was trying to search for, um, I was trying to search for the Caleb thing. I might have to just go to a regular station because it's not working that way. But I listened to a country song and uh, it was a new country song. I don't remember what it was, but it was new. And I ordered two two things of Pop Tarts, a chocolate bar, two bags of chips, six packs of noodles, mm. three bags of candy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I was just crying, looking at the food. I was like freaking out. Oh, I know. Well, I'm glad. But yeah, that was mm. bad. what are you doing? Um, just getting some uh conditioner and shampoo and. Did you get another stimulus? I did. You didn't tell me. <laughs> no, I was getting. You know how I know? Because the girl, okay, my friend that I call, Amy, she was like, my other friend Amy, she was like, oh my god, we just got our next stimulus. She was like, blah, blah, blah. I was like, what? I said, you wait, I talked to her. <laughs> <laughs> so, what they give you? Because yeah. you got the back one for that year? That for you, Fallon? Uh-huh. You got the back what? one for you, Fallon? Yeah. So you did your thing for that missing year, and they gave you that one for that one? Um, yeah, like it got deposited into my account because I already filed my check. How much was that, 600 Um, No, it was 14 1400 Yeah. Girl, you ain't even put nothing on my account. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. That's why I told you. Hey, Britta's giving it back to you. <laughs> huh? I said, ain't Britta's giving it back to you. She's giving it back to me because she's because I told her I was like, it's fine, but she was like, I got it. I was like, okay. Well, she says she's getting it back to you next week. Yeah. Well then, you can. Well, when she gives that back to you, then put some on my on my tablet. Okay. And then pay that thing. And then send me mm-hmm. that para, and you can have the money right back. You see what I'm saying? Right. So just send me that. Did you find out information about the clothes? Uh, I have to ask Miss Edie because I I asked Miss Edie the other day, and if she had talked to um Kim, and she said she was gonna go get up with her, so to ask her for us. Because I guess like Kim got really sick, and she's like she's been in like she's been um what's it called? Hospitalized. What? What was wrong with her? I don't know. You haven't talked to her? Did you? No. Because I didn't know until Miss Didi told me. Because she's still in the hospital? Did you, did, you, did you know that Duke didn't make the NCAA tournament? What? That's the first time, huh? Yep. Dang. That's probably all over the news. Yeah. Kim and her husband are getting the divorce. The new one? Kim and Kanye, yeah. Oh, Kim. Oh, I thought you were talking about, like, the other Kim. No. Yeah, I knew Kim and Kanye were. I heard that. I think one of the, I heard one of the deputies say that one day, and I was sad. Because the deputy was mad. Yeah. She was like, she's leaving him because he has mental health problems. She was like, that sucks. And I was like, oh, yeah. okay. That's a $4. What did you say? Gas is four dollars. What? Why? I know. That's crazy. Four well, please tell to find out because I need to have like be preparing. And yes. you know how I, my anxiety will get stuck on something and I can't unstick it. You know. Yeah. To not get crazier because I mean, does she even still have my stuff? Yeah. Well, she's still with her husband, though, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because he was a good guy. That sounds cool. Well, I sent you a video request. You got to accept it. 
because our time okay, notes are it. here. So how it works is three hours different every day. So like today is eleven to two, right? Tomorrow, mm -hmm. tomorrow be tomorrow be three to six. The next day be six to nine. So I sent you six thirty for that day, which would be eight thirty your time. Okay. Oh my god, I feel like these pipes are about to fall. They look like they're swinging. I, I, I'm delusional. I swear they're swinging. What? Oh, I don't know. I'm just getting really queasy. Mom, Sadie's my best friend. I love her. I love her too. I be like, when I'm at work, I like be sad because I don't have her. I sent you a picture I drew of her using Courtney's outline. You're going to like really? it. I sent it to Dee house because I don't know where else to send it. Have you talked to Amy Bolton? Yeah. I tried to get I her. I got her address. Oh, well, I already mailed it to Dee, Dee so just tell her I mailed it to Dee Because I put it in the letter okay. with your picture and all that. And I was uh, like, what's your address? She was like, why? Did you win the lottery and you're sending me money? I was like, no. Oh. <laughs> she was joking. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get her. And then I, because I was going to ask her how she talked to Tila, because I'm always out on a different time. I never could talk to Tila, but now with these new times, I might be able to. So I was going to ask her, check in on that. Um, have you talked to Tila's? No. Have you seen her online? Has she been up to anything? Um, I've seen her post like stuff on Facebook. I think that's about like politics stuff. But I don't know. <laughs> oh Lord, not politics. Yeah, I kind of just was like, oh. Cool, cool. All right, well, let me get off here so I can call you tomorrow. Love you. Okay, love you. Bye. No, bye. Okay, that one really ticked me off. I'm sorry, but that that's why I like made it small for a minute and I was looking at the transcript um, over the money thing. Harley got a stimulus check. And did you hear her? Yeah. You ain't give me that. He's like, I gave you 140. Well, Aunt Brenda's giving it back. Excuse me? She is a child trying to make it on her own, taking care of your dogs. And, oh, she's just... She's just an evil ass bitch. I'm sorry. It makes me angry. She's greedy. That's faux show. Mm -hmm. It's always about the money. And let's see what else. Oh, the Kim and, you know, Kim and her husband are getting divorced. <laughs> like, you like know them. People. Like, that's what I was thinking. Uh, okay. Oh, my God. Which one, Wolfie? What do you mean, which one? The one that you're using right now. Um. Okay, let me see what else. Then, oh, when Harley was talking about Sadie, she's like, like she's starting to, to sound like Letitia. She's <laughs> just the vocabulary. She said something about, I, I love Sadie. She's my best friend. When I'm at work and stuff without her, I'd be sad. Aww. Sadie is pretty sad. stinking cute. Yeah, sad. I'd be sad. That's probably <laughs> not the best. Yeah, she is not cute though. Best. right. But Sadie is pretty stinking cute. I, I'm sorry. I was outside. I was a little distracted. I was outside. It's raining. And Nestor's like, I gotta go. I gotta go. So I was like, okay, I'll let you out. And I let him out. And he's just out there just a monkey in around like it ain't raining cats and dogs. And then he gets frustrated with me. Like I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, Bruh, you're the one that's out there um, acting, you know, a straight fool. Well, I was taking notes, so and you've already heard him before, so I can tell you. You might remember from the, even if you didn't hear it this time, what about the socks? Oh, I got socks, and I fell to the ground praising Jesus. <laughs> and Harley was like, oh. Well, Harley had, like, in that moment, she had sympathy for her. Like, yeah, you could hear did. it. She was like, and that just, that's annoying as well. It's, uh, yeah. It's sad. It all, everything that Letitia does is fucking annoying, frankly. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Okay. So <laughs> now we're on to <laughs> March 20th. This is a photo from the jail file of Tisha in her pickle suit. Um, oh my God. <laughs> and her teeth. I don't know what she's doing there. I am so done with you. <laughs> now remember, this picture was taken. With a bunch of other pictures, and one of them, she had all that blood on her hands, but she, the officers looked looked her over, and she didn't have any injuries. Right, right. <clears throat> so, 
And God again, only knows where that from. she's not washed her hair in a hot minute, as you can see by the yeah. chunk at the top of your screen. <laughs> that, oh my God. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Crumb crochet and coffee. Um, her puppy, which I think Tess said is named Apple is going to be our new mascot because the pup, the puppy is doing better now and Yay. has beat all the, against all odds. Yes. Yay. Well, that is awesome. Pitbull. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not even going to read that. I'll just put it on the that screen. So I know. <laughs> I know. Me too. That is awesome. No, she can't bring herself to care about anybody else. I mean, it's always about her, what she needs, what she wants. Her, her child is out in the world trying to make it on her own. And it's hard when you leave your parents' house, no matter what. It's right. especially hard when your parent <laughs> is in prison or in jail. Yeah. So. And your parent so is in prison and or jail and the, your parent is Letitia. Let's be honest. Oh, um, one other thing I was going to ask you, what is she talking about? The Caleb thing. She said the tablet has Caleb. My neighbor's for kids, grandkids are outside. So if you hear that, it, that's probably that's some, me, but. some, some gospel music or country music. That's all Letitia listens to now her days of, of of listening to uh Lil John Wu Tang, they're over. She's all about the gospel in the country. Yeah. Well, do you guys in the chat know what she was talking about? She said there was Caleb on the tablet. Is that a country singer or is that like an app or something? I don't uh, know. You know, I don't have no kind of clue. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I do know some country, but not like yeah, that. You know, like I know old country. Right. I mean, yeah, I know more old country than nowadays, but I will say I've been getting into some of this, some a little bit more recently, but let me see here just before we move forward. I just want to check um, the incident report and see what we have to look at on this one. So we have the 21st, several things happened. They had to bring the cameras out and look at, <laughs> oh God. Mm. Then we have, okay. So I hope we get to the 21st, but I'm going to not. There's several to look at for that day. So we'll just get there after these I, calls. So we have Harley again, right? Yeah. Harley, Har the, the next two are short calls, I think. And then the one, then there's the uh, YouTuber. And that one isn't like, it's not short. It's mid, it's in the middle. Because there's only what, like 10 minutes left with, th and I think I stopped at March 25th. So. Okay. Um, okay. So I knew somebody in chat would know. Shelly Bean says radio station. Lace Lemon says K Love is an iHeart music channel. And Dyslexic Chick said, oh, yes, it's a Christian. Station. She's saying K Love, not Caleb. Okay. That makes more sense. Yeah. It sounded like Caleb, didn't it? I thought she, she said Caleb. So that's probably why I had no idea because I don't know any Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Can Hi, beautiful. Separate. Listen, my faith can separate my love forever. What am I singing? <laughs> my, I can't. I can't. Separate my love can't separate well i'm thinking of god he stays um i couldn't hear you because he was barking your god who stays your god who comes in my direction when the whole world, oh, i got to hear hold on let me put this on pause With wide open arms. okay so i got to hear so far i had to search for these I got to hear the lion and the lamb, which I love that one. These are ones I already knew. Soul on fire, sons and daughter. I love that one. Then I went for my king and country. What was my king and country song I liked? I Google king and country back up. Then I got 10th Avenue North losing. Uh, but then the new one that I heard was Chris Tomlin and Lady Antebellum. Mm -hmm. It's called Who Are You to Me? I haven't heard that one. Oh, you've heard it? And then no, I I have. Oh, okay, there's two new ones by Mercy Me that I haven't heard. One is this year, Say I Won't, and the other one is Almost Home. 
that was last year, but I didn't hear it. Hmm. So I'm trying to find the King and Country song. I just keep going through and just I'm on some kind of uh, some kind of page where oh, there's Tenth Avenue North. I like them too. But anyway, I just thought I'd tell you so you'd be happy. I was about to cry when it first came on, but I can't let people see me cry. I was like, oh my God, hallelujah. I was just reading my Bible and I was trying to find some of the songs. I couldn't get it to work yesterday. But I got it to work. I know, I know. But anyway, what are you doing? Nothing. Um, I'm moving my stuff. Moving it where? A different apartment. I decided that I was gonna just do the um one by myself. Oh, you are. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I'm right like next to all my coworkers, so. Oh, well, that'd be good because they stay there too, right? Yeah. That'd be good. You'll like that. Yeah. I just, I just, I don't like living with people. You don't like doing what? I said I just don't like living with people. I can't do it. No. I told you you have you you've been raised where girl you didn't people aren't clean you ain't gonna be able to be around them. I am too clean for everyone. I just can't. I know. That's why if you ever get married, you better be a clean freak. I know, right? Or it's just not gonna work out because you know we've lived around that with people been dirty. People know how much vinegar is in the house supposedly, but ain't never cleaned up in their entire life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I mean. You know, that's just how it goes. People aren't clean. Yep. Oh, um, but Charlotte, do my stuff now, so. Oh, you're going to do stuff? Okay, cool. Can you um text Amy Bolton and tell her that I was going to call her? What would be a good time? Yeah, I will. Okay, just tell her I'm out still. It's okay. It's talk here, but I was going to call okay. her. Okay. All right, love you. Okay, I will. Love you. Bye. 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 Okay. Uh, for one, the vinegar comment. Yeah, that was uh, quite ridiculous, wasn't it? Yes. And then the singing, oh my God. <laughs> okay, Ooh. let me just tell you that that's not all the singing that she did. Remember, there's oh, no. about a minute and a half, I think, at the beginning of each call where it's connecting and the entire time in fact she was singing and it messed up the prompt she had to do the prompt again because of her singing oh my god yes <laughs> okay very annoying and that jen's talking about do you guys remember when jen left it in and showed you guys where she says at global tell link my voice is my password she has to say that before every call mm hmm yeah, she did say that about the vinegar, Amanda. Yes, she did. And also, let me see. Um, then her comments about, well, first of all, Harley answers the phone or says, hey, beautiful. You know, I just, oh, I don't know. I have more sympathy for Harley every day as time goes on. And then Tisha singing. But then she, at the, the moment where she mentions that she was about to cry, when it first came on, but she can't let people in there see her cry. And she said it like almost in this crying voice. But um, I think that's probably true. I think that when you are in prison, you probably don't want to show some of the um, weakness, you know? Well, yeah, you don't. But I think um, also <laughs> that's one of the big issues that a lot of the <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make a point. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and here you go with this uh, foolishness. Um, <clears throat> you probably don't want, you know, but I think also that's part of the issue that um, some of the uh, inmates that are housed with her currently have is that she isn't crying. A little bit of crying is okay. It's different hey, when you're in the point. girl's when you're in the girls part of it, you know, in the guys, you, yeah. you don't want to cry, but for sure, if you're in the girls, you don't want to be, you know, a titty baby bitch or nothing, but you do want to, I mean, a little crying isn't going to hurt anything. Titty baby bitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and the way you said it. <laughs> um, 
Um, anyways, uh, let me see. There was a comment. Oh, um, Kay Ann. She said she was talking about cleaning and she said, um, yeah, like when you marry marry somebody you better marry a clean freak and she said something else and she said oh like people saying they know how much vinegar's in the house when they've never cleaned in their life and yeah. she's talking about al but exactly so. exactly hey, riley okay this is actually maria on the screen if you guys don't know and i know it's blurry that's just because it's from that footage not all of, like the the ones we have come in aren't really blurry like that but i really thought that it, <laughs> i wanted to use it because yeah, just the the ridiculousness of it. But okay, so we have another another one with Harley. Let's see. You ready, Bendy? I was born Anything? ready. <laughs> okay. I don't remember what this is. It's another quickie too. Look, may, um, a lot of these um, next few calls. Maybe this one might be a little quick, a, a little long. Um, but a lot of it is going to be Letitia barking orders. You know how she do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like she, like she, she uh, right. She knows right. all about life and how to keep it together. Look at her. Right. And she's at. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, she's just, okay. you know, she, she has staff. No, none of these people are her friends or family. They're staff. She sucks. Yeah, exactly. Oh my God. That is so true. It's unbelievable. All right, let's go. All right. Hello. Hey, did you get to text her? What did you say? Did you text her for me? She didn't answer. Okay. She didn't answer me, so she might be busy. I'm just trying to see a good time to call her because I wanted to talk to her. When was the last time you talked to her? Um, a couple of days ago. Oh, she might be getting busy then. Um, yeah. Will you, uh, one more thing. Can you um, uh, message Tila and ask her, like, hey, uh, I'm honestly trying to call you when's a good time? Yeah. Okay, cool. And I'll just call you back tomorrow. Then. Oh, I got to visit with you tomorrow, so don't forget. Yeah, I got you. Okay. All right. Love you. Okay. Love you. Bye. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No greeting, yeah. just grilling. <laughs> Correct. Also, um, I think it's not, it's not this call, but it might be the next not the YouTuber call, but the next call that she has with Harley. We're I know where I know what's going on with Amy B. Bank gonna tell you. Yeah, you have to wait. Okay. I'm but wondering. We do, a, we do get a resolution. Okay. So now we're on to March 20th, which is an unknown YouTuber. Um and this is another picture of Tisha on that day in that pickle soup. <laughs> um but look at her. I wish I could have got the whole picture on, but it wouldn't fit in the thumbnail, but she has her arms down to the side and she's like, Oh my God. She just, she looks like she's just such a martyr, you know, like not really, but you know what I'm saying? She's just, Oh, I don't know. Dramatic is all extra hell. as fuck for no reason. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. She looks okay. like she's on a massage table. Yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> she wishes. Oh my God. Okay, let me move the thing off. Bye. Hey, Leticia. Hey, how are you? Uh, I'm okay. Hang in there. How are you? What's wrong? Oh, just depressed because my dad, that's all. Oh, uh, no, it's getting tough, huh? Yeah, um, he's starting to get sick now. From the started, treatment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah I remember that. Mm. But I wanted to tell you real quick. Mm -hmm. I went to, um, what is it, that DTL you told me, that getting out, you know? I set up yeah. an account. I saw your name on there. And, oh, did you? Oh, okay. Yeah, you, okay, just, gotta, you just gotta remember you gotta add a picture because if not, they'll shut your account down and make sure you sent them your verification stuff. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello. What the heck? Who? How did that one uh, end? Was it a hang up? Like, did it? What did it say? Do you remember? Bendy. Don't know where Jen went. Can you guys hear me? 
I'm assuming some people must know who it is. I have no clue. <clears throat> um, well, I just don't want to. There was a few reasons that we didn't put her name out there. Um, but I just, yeah, I don't know. I just don't want to um, like be the reason that anybody sends like negative, you know, negative energy towards that person anyways, especially since like the content of many of their calls was her parents being sick and some things like that. So I just, you know, leave it. Right. And just because somebody talked to Letitia back in the day, we don't know what the current situation is. And maybe, you know, they don't want to be known for that. And so just, I mean, I just, I'm being, I'm treating this person the way that I would want to be treated, you know? Yeah. Um, Chase, why are you in trouble? I agree with that. I want to be treated. I want, I want to treat people the way I want to be treated. And like you said, we don't know where exactly she stands now or mm -hmm. the whole situation, which that would be something. Um, no, that's okay, Michelle. No, you guys are absolutely fun. And even your opinions yeah. are fun. I just want to, yeah. you know, keep it. It's, if um, you don't ask, you don't know. And I would much rather somebody um, come to me and ask me why come than just assume why come. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sorry, the kids yelling next door. They're having fun being kids. Can't get mad at that. Okay. All right. So March 21, Harley, which, by the way, I think Melissa made this. I got it from our meme to contest group, but I'm pretty sure it was hers. But <laughs> we <have> her. <laughs> Look how they're looking at her, which is, <laughs> I never noticed that before. But, I mean, obviously, Letitia is Photoshopped in for uh what's her name Kristen Stewart who they're supposed to both be in love with but quite frankly Edward and Jacob look disgusted with her I'm just saying I never noticed this before they really do I noticed it either but <laughs> their faces <laughs> bruh okay all right let me take the thing off again all right, here we go. Okay. You didn't show up for your visit. I know, I saw it. You what? Let's oh, see. It's okay. Yeah. See. You okay? Uh, yeah. You go to church? Uh, I watched it on my phone today. Cool. Yeah, I've been praising and worshiping here. I met this lady whose daughter just died in Sumter, South Carolina. And she's mm. mad at God. So I just told her, don't give up. And I prayed for her and I worshiped with her for a little bit. She was very religious before it happened, but now she's mad at God. Mm. Been doing that for a little bit. All right. Well, I just thought I'd call you to tell you I love you. Did you get to talk to Amy? Um, yeah, she said that um, she's been door dashing. That's why she couldn't. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, but she oh. said... Hold on, she's home in time. But she said, um, well, she might tell me today. She said today after four, but. Never let go of me. I just heard rescue story. I just heard hold us together. Uh -huh. I've been singing and praising and worship. I can't find no longer a slave. Who sings it? Isn't it Bethel music? Um, no. Or something daughters. Oh, yeah, it is Bethel music. That's what I thought. Okay, hold on. Let me look. Hold on. Let me go in here and put Bethel music because I've been trying to hear that song. Yeah, so like the woman I just held, she hated me. She was asking this one girl she was talking to me and she came over and told me the story. And I said, listen, I said, if anybody should be mad at God, I said, it would be me. I said, well, let me just tell you right now, I ain't mad at him. And I talked to her about it for a little bit about she told me about it and she just went to crying. I said, see, I said, God uses me. Mm -hmm. So. Why she always does? That's trust me because she was, she was hating me, but she just came up to me and I was praying for her and she was like. I designed my living room how you would design it. You had to what? I said, I designed my living room how you would design it. Aww. I love you so much. It's clean. Maybe. I love you too. You glad to have a clean house. Oh, here's no longer a slave. I gotta go. I love you. Okay, love you. Bye. I'm gonna listen to I'll call you tomorrow.
I come out tomorrow from okay. five to eight, though, so it, I'll wait till the end to call you. Five and okay, four. that's fine. All right, love you, bye. Okay. Okay, so it, I'm sorry, but I did. I got a chuckle out of that because the end of the last call ended with Tisha saying, "Don't forget our video calls at blah blah blah." And then Harley's like, "I got you." And then I fell they, asleep. They start, <laughs> yeah. I don't blame um, Harley. I don't. Yeah, if anybody should be mad at God, it's me. Yeah. Shut up, Tisha. Yeah. Sure, Shut Tisha. all the way up. Don't talk again, ever. <laughs> Be mute. Take a vow of silence immediately. Fuck off. Yep. Anybody yep. should yep. be mad at God, it's me. Does she really believe that? Yes. Sorry, that's that was the really most, loud. That's, I'm sorry. No, that was really no, loud. But okay. it's asinine. She's so asinine. I can't with her. So you think she truly believes that? Because that's the interesting part to me. She pr probably does. And it's like, lady, do you not, do you not realize what you've done? <laughs> you yeah, took she, a child's life. Yeah. She, she, mm. she I, I do think she actually believes that. I do. Oh I think that God. she wholeheartedly believes that um, she has been wronged. This is not her fault. It's everybody's fault, including Sweet Gannon's. It's every, she has, she, when when have we heard even after her conviction have we heard her take even one scintilla of accountability we really haven't we uh, haven't no see i told it's, you these were quick yeah those are quick and lori thank you so much for gifting five memberships thank you i'm excited because i um wanted to add new emojis and i told you yesterday like it was saying oh, that i yeah. needed a few more members so i probably have them now so by the youtubes i know sorry that, i talked right Thanks over you YouTube. i'm sorry no you didn't jen you are doing just fine don't you worry about that stuff at all i love you and i want you to talk anytime you have you. thoughts uh period and i think you do a great job yeah. and thank you but just let me that. just say this be careful what you fucking wish for you do not want me to talk anytime i have thoughts <laughs> 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 oh my god did i get a membership yay let me see yay let me see let me look <laughs> let me look let me look let me look <laughs> I'll call let me see Oh, I won't be able to see because I'm on mod. So it won't show. But if I did, I hope so. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Oh, oh no, the mm -hmm. other my other one was the word case studies was. Ooh, yay. Yay. Okay. I'm fancy. <laughs> Do you like my uh layover my overlay <laughs> layover for March 22nd call with it? <laughs> Your what the face. fuck is Look happening with her chunklas? <laughs> like it, even her chunklas have like some kind of tracers on them. Look at her face. <laughs> <laughs> she almost looks like she doesn't have top teeth. <laughs> Remember, this is the one where they uh, said that she did that acrobatic. Um, <laughs> they when in the report they said she did this acrobatic fall, and then Melissa made that the stop, drop, and roll video, which kills me. It's so funny. And then um, I put her face on that gymnast with like the ribbon and stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god, that's oh, hilarious! Every... Look at her. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Okay, let's listen to it because I cannot <laughs> get over it. I will sit here and laugh the okay. whole time because her face. And I, I'm still not, I just still haven't made up my mind whether this was an intentional fall or on a, an accident. Um, so, I think it was on purpose because, okay, I was going to tell y'all just a little quick story. One time I was walking out of work. And the building that I worked in was a bank building. And then they had floors on the top that that's where the accountant's office was that I worked at. And I was coming out of the building and down the steps. And, and my husband was waiting for me. And I was walking through the parking lot 
not paying attention to what I was doing at all. Wearing my high heels, being fancy AF, and I tripped <laughs> over the parking curb. Y'all, I ate shit. Like, I went down. <laughs> there was a, ugh, and oh, I busted no. up my knees. Like, they were all scraped up with, you know, and I was wearing pants, like khakis, too. And so, and I fell clumsy AF. This heffalump over here just kind of tumbled and rolled. I feel like it was on, on accidentally on purpose. Mm. I think it was too. And I also mm -hmm. pulled that little look. Here's the, where me put the face <laughs> on that. <laughs> <laughs> Letitia Stalk, oh the acrobat, and the monster energy. <laughs> I okay, respect get... you. I'll do it for you. <laughs> I'll do it for you. Bitch, you will do it for whoever tells you to do it. You be, yeah. oh, I can't believe she acted. Oh, a, I mean, acted like she, that's, that is, tells you everything you need to know about Tisha. She's surrounded by people who are armed. Okay. And she thinks she can get slick with a monster can. Yeah. She was threatening cool. me. Yeah. <laughs> Mayla's mom said She's her been face. threatening <laughs> me this whole time. <laughs> yeah look at her face <laughs> <laughs> even though the entire ride was was recorded okay audio <laughs> and video she out here talking about she threatened me Bruh. now yeah. i want you to know that uh tisha is takes full advantage of the early morning hours this call to amy l is at seven o'clock in the morning She's oh up bright gosh. and early on her bullshit. <laughs> yeah. I noticed that with some of the April ones too. Mm -hmm. um, for sure. Michelle, thank you for being a member two months. She says, yay, two months and many more to come. Thank you to all the generous people who gift us. Thank you so much. And then Mayla's mom, um, eh, how do you get anything done when you're making these? I don't. I sit there and make them and just laugh to myself <laughs> and laugh and laugh. <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. Hey Angela. Good to oh. see you. She says, sorry, I don't talk much, but I'm so glad you're doing this. I love the little baby in the picture. Oh, me too. Mm -hmm. Little yellow layup. I do love a layup. Okay, so here we go to um Amy Lang. Where oh, that's I? right. We're on Amy Lang. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Thank you for using Global Tele. Hello? Hey, girl, what's up? Did this say a free call, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, cool. If you get a free call on Mondays if you spend money all week. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Um, are you sleeping? Oh, no, no, I've been up since like 6.30, it's 9 here. <laughs> oh, there's like a ton of snow on the ground, so... Oh man, no, it's nice here today. It's like almost, it's going to be almost 70. It's sunny out too. I'm excited. Oh, can only dream. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get to see it again, you know, know, sooner than later, hopefully. <laughs> and, and uh, I haven't really slept good because I've been, oh my God, the whole, the Chinese waterboarding thing, I've been freaked out about it again. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, I... I have a lot of flashbacks with stuff and like, you know how like whenever I do like interviews and stuff like that, they would always like harass me when I'd go to the bathroom and torture me and stuff like that to say whatever they wanted me to say. And I have a lot of flashbacks about that and I just keep freaking out about them trying to Chinese waterboard me and stuff like that, you know? That's understandable. You've been through a lot there. Yeah, yeah. And then the lack of sleep is definitely not helping. Oh, no, no, because then I have, like, nightmares about it because, you know, like, I remember how that lady was in that every time she'd be nice and I'm nervous when she'd like, go to the bathroom, she'd freak out on me and try to abuse me and shit, you know. And, was that uh, one of the, uh, was that one of the deputies or something? Yeah, uh, like, um, whenever I had to do, when I tried to ask for an attorney, they wouldn't let me and they were, like, coercing me and stuff and they'd do that when I'd go in the bathroom. That's how I was talking about on this all that stuff in the beginning about the coercion because I was already like sleep tired and everything and then she would do me like that every time I go to the bathroom and then come back to the cameras and be nice 
Yeah. yeah. And so I like have like a bunch of nightmares about that and flashbacks because it's like, you know, you're not in a mental state to be doing anything because you're just like tired and you're like, okay, whatever you want me to say, I'll say anything. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I think we've all been somewhere at that point at least once or twice in our lives. So I, I definitely understand, you know, how you yeah. feel to some degree. I've not been where you've been, you know, but I don't think that you're any less of a person for feeling the way you do. Honestly, I, I, I don't have the inner strength that you have, let's put it that way, because <laughs> there's no way I'd be able to handle all the crap that you've gone through and then, you know, still be there. Yeah, it's rough. Like, I just sit there and be like, of course, I don't didn't know what I said or what I was going to say. I mean, you get harassed in the bathroom and, you know, you know what's up because obviously they ain't doing that to you on camera, but they do it when they're not. So you ain't stupid, but at the same time, like I told you about the brain, the brain's crazy as hell, you know. Start yeah. Out, you know, and, oh, gosh, this lady. Did I tell you about the lady yesterday? Her daughter died in South Carolina. No, you didn't. Yeah, so she, I was reading the Bible, and she, well, she was, like, asking that lady why she talked to me and all that, and the lady's like, I'm going to talk to her, she's a human being, and I want to know about the Lord. Well, then the other lady, when she came over, I said, look, I said, you might hate me, I said, but God's telling me right now that he loves you, and I don't know what you're going through, but, you know, you need to give it back to God and not turn away from him, and she went to crying, and she was like, her daughter died in South Carolina. And thumped her. Oh wow! And so she was mad at God, and she was she used to be a big time follower, and now she hated him. And I was like, you know, if anybody should be mad at God, you know, hello, I'm one of the, <laughs> biggest, I'm one of the biggest followers of Christ here now. I was like, but that's not. You have one minute remaining. So I was able to help her for a little bit, and so that was kind of good. I do a little bit of prayer with her and some scripture. That's good, and I'm sure that's going to help her out. You know, more than yeah. you know. Um, before this disconnect, I wanted to let you know, I put, um, after we got off the phone last night, I put $50 on your, the GTL thing, so you can, like, listen oh, to music and thank you, get on the internet and things like that. <laughs> I've been sitting here waiting on my commissary, like, freaking out every day, like, looking for my pickles. <laughs> It'll come <laughs> for Wednesday, but I've been like, okay, two more days, two more days, and I can eat food. I had someone, and someone gave me a cup of coffee yesterday, and I was wired up. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, I bet it tasted good, too. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Um, I'm going to call Harley real quick, see if she's awake, because I know she probably, she missed her visit, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> probably asleep. All right. Well, you have a good day. You have let a good that lady know that day. information, right? I sure did. Yeah, I okay, texted cool. last night. Cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, you have a good day. Hello, girls. Hello. And their oh, I will. I sure will. Thank you for using Global Tech. Okay, uh, so it, before we get into that, Lori asked, do they still talk um, since she's been in prison? And I don't know about that. However, I did reach out to Amy after that interview that she did, and we talked a little bit. And I've went back to find those messages. I can't. I thought it was on Twitter, and I can't find them. But I'll tell you this. She didn't like, really. I told her I wouldn't share unless she, she gave me permission. So I would never do that to anybody who reaches out to me with any information. But I will say the one thing that about that is that I believe that Tisha did reach out to her after the trial was over because she sent like a picture of the letter that came from the prison. So, um, I don't know. And then she just quit talking to me and I don't have a clue where she's at. I would love to ask her a few questions. I'd love yeah. to have her on and we can talk to her, Jen. That would be absolutely awesome. talk. Like we, I think people, if they're, if you're listening, Amy L, Amy B, ain't Brenda. We just want to have a conversation. We're not going to grill you. I'm not the popo. No, I'm just yeah, curious. Absolutely. I'm interested. And yeah, I, and where you have at home at training, training, I promise I will behave. Yeah, I want to know. Like, do they feel the same way? Like, okay, how did they feel then during these calls versus after mm -hmm. the trial and they heard everything and, um, you know, that kind of stuff. Exactly. We just want to know why come. We just want to know why come. <laughs> um, so I didn't make overlays for the rest of the calls because I was running late. I had like 30 minutes and I was rushing to do them today. But I promise you guys, I have a couple things up my sleeves and we'll have some really good ones for, for our next live. So. I have some ideas, but um, yeah, I, a respectful one. I would love to uh, look, I'm not judging her at all. I mean, 
I understand the interest in true crime and that kind of thing, but I just want to know. Yeah, I would really, really love to talk to Amy B. I know that's never yes. going to happen, but that's the one I want to hear from. And I, and I would like to hear from Aunt Brenda. And the oh, thing yeah. of it is, Aunt Brenda, if you're listening, Amy B, if you're listening, or somebody who knows them is listening, whether you're here now or you catch us on the replay, we're just inter nothing they say, is, there's no wrong answer. Because at this point, you know, to hear, we've all talked about it, you know, it's shocking what she was accused of at this point. At this point, she's only been accused. And now that the trial, and I, and so I can understand, but I'm curious when it started to come together for you, what, if, it, if it ever did, um, how do you feel now? How did you feel then? And how did you feel, you know? the more stuff that got released, you know, and yeah. Katrina, you yeah. too. And Katrina, please do somebody get in touch with, if they know, no, let, no, let me say this stops right here. If you don't already know, <laughs> Aunt Katrina, don't be trying to get in touch with her. But if somebody is listening out there who already knows Aunt Katrina, you know, yeah. Oh yeah. Let her know. Come on, man. And you know, she said, we haven't heard from her in months. And well, she, yeah. I don't, I wouldn't be surprised if they had. I wonder if they've spoke since. I'm curious. I, be if, I mean, if nothing else, I I will say this for Aunt Katrina. <clears throat> Aunt Katrina was good to Letitia. She advocated on her behalf. And when Letitia was talking about do, uh, needing money and going to be doing some not so good things, you know, I mean, you're already booked in jail with a murder charge, not just any murder charge, the murder of your 11 year old stepson. OK, and she hears all this. And, you know, Letitia's talking about the Volturi and the, the eating of her organs and the pushing of the buttons and all the things. You know, she was looking out for Letitia and and Letitia, you wrong as hell for doing what you did to, to Aunt Katrina. I don't give a rat's fat kneecap what you say or how you feel about that. You were wrong. You did her wrong and you know it. You did her dirty yeah. and that ain't right, ma'am. Oh, we didn't even talk about this call with Amy, but okay. How about this part when they're talking about the weather and, you know, like we got a ton of snow and she's like, well, it's nice here. And then she's like, don't worry. You'll get to see it again one day, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> no, she won't. No. Yeah, when, when, when the earth revolves around the sun and it's spring again, then yeah, maybe. But not yeah. free. <laughs> Yeah, and she's not ever going to be back on the beach again. Her no. ass is mm -mm. where she's going to be until she dies. And that's just that. Exactly right. That's pretty crazy to even think about, though, you know? Mm-hmm. It's a good thing, but yeah. And then, okay, the Chinese waterboarding, torture in the bathroom, and then um, this accusing a deputy of abusing her in the bathroom. I mean. <laughs> yeah, she's talking about when she was being questioned. And that they, that essentially the deputy, when she was asking to go to the bathroom, you know, they, they let her go to the bathroom. Now, this is when she was trying to, quote, unquote, get rid of evidence. Who the hell knows what she was trying to do in that bathroom? But they were there to make sure she didn't because she, you know, they, she was in there talking about one crime, but then admitted to being the victim of another. And the police have to take that seriously. So none of that happened, Letitia. Stop it. Okay, I, I can tell by the at this point, you've done some, um, you know, you've done some Googling or whatever in the law library and you are learning about uh, false confessions. That's not this. Also, Letitia, let's not get it twisted. It's not Chinese waterboarding. It's called a fucking shower. Calm down. Yeah. You need it. <laughs> we know you're not used to that, but that's, right. that's what it is. That's what about when called. she says... When uh, Amy's like, the lack of sleep isn't helping. And she's like, no, because then I'll have nightmares and blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, if you're having nightmares, then you're fucking sleeping. Correct. <laughs> exactly. But okay. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is not something out of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, right? With the whole basis of that being that if you go a certain amount of time, you, you go to sleep and you don't ever wake up. So shut up, yeah. Tisha. Just shut up. <laughs> Um, also, I forgot to look at these incident reports with you guys. So right before that call with Amy are when these things here happen. So first one is damage to the cell. And this is when she takes the screw out of the toilet. Um, 
She basically it was written by Deputy Amanda Schmolzer. She said that she went. She I entered blank within blank to give Stalk her lockdown property. When I went to exit the cell, I saw a large dark hole on the top side of the toilet. I saw there was no loose metal and that a person could only put a few fingers in the hole. I also saw a significant portion of concrete had been removed from the wall along the door jam. Closer inspection of the cell showed a missing screw from the toilet. I took pictures of the spots in question and attached them to this report. Letitia denied making any damage to the cell, um, but Stalk has a history of damaging cells to manipulate housing and escape, attempt escape. So then they took these pictures. I guess she broke the concrete off right there and then took that screw out of the toilet. <clears throat> And um, then we have another incident that same day about the law library. So this is Kayla Rodriguez. And she says that around 11 a.m. I was verifying to see if I had inmates scheduled for programs. Stalk was scheduled for law library at 2.30. I realized she was never checked out for programs or marked refused. That's 2.30 in the morning. I asked Stalk if she attended law library and she confirmed she did. I spoke with Sergeant Corpus. He told me to check inmate Stalk in and out on programs. Sergeant Corpus did verify that Stalk arrived in the law library at 225 and left at 428. But then, so then they have this whole report about her not being logged in the law library that day. Um, Stalk indicated she did attend the library. Sergeant Corpus conducted a camera review and was able to observe the following. At 2.25 a.m., Stalk was past searched in Ward Blank. At 2.25 also, she the lockbox was opened by Sergeant Bryan and electronics used to inmate Stalk. Inmate Stalk appeared to verify the materials. Um, 2.26, the lockbox was secured. Um, then Stalk was escorted to CM. PR for participation in the law library. At 228, Stalk attached the electronics to a computer inside of a cabinet in the CMOD MPR. And then at 422, Stalk disconnected the electronics from the computer and was escorted to blank. The electronics were secured in the lockbox, and this is to document, document the use of the law library on March 21st because her attendance was not correctly annotated in the Beacon System FOI programs. So, and then let me see what this is. Just more about her not logging in her attendance in the law, in the library. And then they write back, Miss Stalk, inmate Stalk Law Library was, in fact, logged correctly. What the hell? Despite information reported in the original narrative of this informational report, inmate Stalk was logged into programs correctly by Deputy Shartung. I have attached a screenshot of the inmate movement screen for the inmate under photos as well as the inmate program attendance report from Beacon. Hmm. And that's a screenshot, but they blacked it out. Yeah. Yeah, because they don't want well, you to see inside of the jail. Right. And then our next one is March 29th, and that's odd behavior after court. Okay. Um, so let me just say ahead. this. <clears throat> um, the last call we had was on March 22nd. There are no mm -hmm. calls for three days. Okay. Between, so the 23rd, 24th, or two days really, and then the 25th at 4, 23 p.m. Then again, there aren't any more calls on March 26th. And then she makes a call on March uh, 27th. She makes three calls and then one call on March 28th. Now, there are some redacted calls. And um, to be honest with you guys, at this point, this was at the end of the month. And I was having an incredibly hard time, for whatever reason, getting it to render. I had to try like 11 billion different things and 11, it took me like two hours to get this video to render. So I, by at that point I had stepped away from the computer and um, didn't like note any of the backstory of the call. So I can honestly remember if there were calls that went, there were some calls I do remember that went through that are redacted for whatever reason. So. Okay. Well, um, yeah. So, we will, what does that mean anyways, to render? It's where the, when you're working on a project in the, in an editing app, 
all the videos and stuff are at a real low quality because you don't need mm -hmm. it to be like super high quality for you to be able to add transitions, shorten them, et cetera, et cetera. So when it renders right. it, what it actually does is it changes it over to whatever your settings are. Like I think mine are 1080. And <clears throat> so that's what it's doing. It's, it's taking the compressed files that you were working with and images and stuff that you're working with in your editing program and decompresses them and turns them into the final product so that it can be uploaded directly to YouTube or whatever you're going to do with it. Okay. That's what okay. rendering is. Mm-hmm. And then um, for those incident reports, we'll definitely read them, but let's listen to, you know, these days, but it's going to be very interesting. It's odd behavior after court and then refusing the law library. Um, so it'll be interesting to tie those things together. And then the last thing that I want to say is, uh, so last night we had the live um, with Lynn about Harmony's case and, um, Amber had the live as well, a little bit after us on the same case. And, our live went longer than I expected, and I hate that so bad because um, I want to be there for Amber's lives. But if you guys didn't check out her live last night and you're following that case, I did share it on the community tab. You should definitely check it out. Um, and, yeah, that's all. I just wanted to say that because once I got off and I realized that what happened, I was like, oh, no. I just I, I will say this. Yeah, Allie, Allie did say that to me, she, that she did have regrets. And I do too. We never want to do that to, to our friends. You know, Amber works really hard on her stuff and yeah. she always has like, I will say, I've said it before, Amber, Allie too, but Allie knows this. And I've said this to her before lots of times. A Amber has a way of looking at stuff that does make me think. And Amber and Allie will tell you also, that is very difficult to do. So a lot of times when I've made my mind up, that's that I'm done. Yeah, and absolutely. <laughs> But she does make me think she does make me think um on stuff so you know yes, well she I'm, does and she doesn't get to go live as much as us so i just no. want to like her the next live she has will probably be like monday or tuesday i definitely want to be we there. will sh we will schedule around yes Last night's show was really good, though. I was glad you got Oh, thank you, Harlot. I enjoyed it so much, too. But I will tell you, by the end, I was getting tired, and I had taken a gummy, and it started kicking in, and I was, like, getting major anxiety. I was, like, when we ended, I was, like, Jen had to talk me out of, like, a panic attack. Seriously. That's but when we first I ended. I would have never told nobody that either. <laughs> I know. I know you wouldn't. But still, it, thank God for you, because <laughs> I felt better in, like, two minutes. But still. It was just, yeah. She says, no worries. You guys had a good conversation going on. It's no problem. Let me know if you want to discuss Adam again, too. I definitely want to. I me would too. love that. Mm -hmm. me and I'll, I'm meant I'll to tell host, you. I'll host, this, I'll host the next time. I can be the hostess. I'll bring food. Well, actually, I was going to ask you. <coughs> Mom, I talked to her today, and she wants to come on with us. Mm -hmm. But um, she's only free on Monday next week, and that is your day. And I was like. I'm sure Jen won't care. Let me talk to you. Yeah, of course. No, no, no. I want to host. Okay. I love all of our little our creator friends. Absolutely. I would. I have no problem hosting. No problem at all. Awesome. All you guys got to awesome. do is tell me what time is good for you, and I can I can work around. Okay. Awesome. Well, I'll find out for sure, and uh, okay. I'll let you know. But okay. Well, let's try to get through a few more calls at least. I don't know. You okay. think we'll get through them all? I mean, we could, there's only, I mean, I will tell you every single call from here on in is, um, the full 15 minutes. Okay. So, wow. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chase. That is freaking sweet. He said, Alex, Amber, Jen, and Melissa are top four. Aww. You are very, I like, you guys. I like how he, how that was listed, um, alphabetically. See that that's not in order of rank or preference. It's alphabetically. So now it's, so it's fair. I like that. Thank you for doing that, Chase. Yes. <laughs> I noticed you funny. like that. <laughs> <laughs> I did not notice that at all. And then Mayla's mom said, I really think I want to come up on an open panel night. Well, I would love that. I mean, that would completely make my entire week. I can't wait to do that. I wonder if we should try to do that Tuesday. I was um, thinking about either doing it too. We could do it Tuesday or, or we could do it, um, because I think what's going to end up happening is <clears throat> the state's going to rest and then the um, 
the defense is going to present their case and they're thinking they're going to be done possibly by the end of next week. However, the jury instructions and that part takes a long time. So right. what if whenever they're done and while we're waiting for jury instructions before it actually goes to the jury, we can we'll some either that or Tuesday or whatever, like I'm down. That doesn't matter to me. I don't care. I'll do it whenever you know me. I, I just want to talk true crime with my friends. Me too. Well, we can do that because I know that <coughs> she works. So probably be better to do it like at the, you know, close. I don't know. I'll find out. But she says we have to hear about this tip first. So, yeah, we can do it after we find out about the tip. And then, oh, Tess and Kathy were going to give because they both have masters in psychology and they were going to give us some <coughs> of their thoughts as far as oh, that goes. Oh, that would be awesome. And um, that was going to say. I was going to ask Aww. you to highlight that one. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. You guys, uh, you absolutely. You can any, we will figure it out. Uh, Kia's mama and we will, uh, make sure that you get up. Okay. Oh my goodness. She Thank says, I'd love to join y'all. Love y'all. I'm going through chemo and this show just always gets my mom and my mind and off my cancer. <coughs> Excuse me. My sons have listened with me also, and we all just have our comments. And I'm just so happy that we can help you get your mind off of that at all. That just, yeah. you know, I'm just so happy for that. And I'm really sorry just, for what you're going through. I am. Too. I'm sorry that you're having that struggle. But I, if we can do anything, let us know. Yeah, absolutely. And we love you too. And thank you. Sorry, I couldn't stop coughing. I'm smoking my vape, but I hadn't hit it for a minute. No, we're going to keep listening, Mandy, to just a couple more. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, but I'll try to, I will go through and timestamp all the calls in the comments. Um, okay. And then also, yeah, I'm smoking this vape. It's called Funky Charms and it tastes like, like, like cereal. Charms. Yeah, it's really yummy. Um, oh, hey, Richie. Good to see you. He says, I've been in and out, but six months flies by. I can't believe wow. that. I'm Doing glad okay. you're back. Like, also going through some major, major stuff. So yeah. I'm just so sorry for you guys. Um, okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. And, you know, I know some people, they are not fans of all the commentary, and that's fine. That's I'm right. going to timestamp it. But also, we're here, like, to hang out with you guys. That is what a live is for. You're not supposed to get on live and not address your chat or anything. That is, then do a pre-recorded video. It's that right. simple. You know what I mean? I don't want to do that. I like to chat with you guys, chat with Jen, and also keep it all the way real. Because we are real people. We're not... Um, robots or I'm not trying, you know, I've always told you guys that I'm not trying to be anything that we're not. We're just trying to keep it real and hang out with you guys and talk about true crime. You know, right. So. The Alex, the Lou, the whole Lou, nothing but the Lou. How's that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> However, Amelia Sparkle says it. That's it. That's it. What you see is what you get. I'm way too lazy to try to be somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> it would just be way too hard. But anyways. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, this is why we're here. I love you guys. You're the bomb. All right, let's go. Hello. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Nothing. What have you been up to? Nothing. Just been unpacking. Trying to get that. together. Yeah. Okay. You glad to be there by yourself? Yeah, it's so much better. But Sadie has been um, in guard dog mode. Yeah, because it's a new environment for her, so it'll take her a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she barks at everything on the way. Yeah, cool, cool. Oh. We didn't get to come out yesterday. I was, I was like, oh my God, then the day before, then we got to come out for like 35 minutes. What? I know they'd be having so much stuff going on here, so. Get a grocery store? Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Oh, I am Shana Yurt. Did you work today? 
No, I had school today and I cleaned, did all my laundry, cleaned baby stuff, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Did you pay that thing online? Yeah. Okay, good. So I'll have to activate you for it till April, May, June to June. Yep. Did Aunt Brenda give you your money back? No. She didn't? No, she probably will, though, eventually. Oh. I'm sure. I'm not worried about it. Oh, man, I have to pee. Did you get a seminar application so you can get your money back? Yes. You did? What? I did. No, I told no, you. Yeah. I know, but I have to ask again. Just in case you never know, you know. Mm-hmm. What is my call? Well, I thought I was to just call you tell you I love you. Did you, else I had to did you get did you get your snack? Oh Thank my you. god, yeah, but I had three Jolly Ranchers yesterday and I got sick. <laughs> what? Because I hadn't had that kind of sugar, you know what I mean? Oh. I was just like so queasy and sick, so it took a little bit. But then I had a thing of coffee, so I gave me coffee because I didn't order coffee. Uh, because I didn't know like what kind of coffee to get. And so I had mm-hmm. to use my bag. Some of the coffee just dissolved in the cup. So then they gave me coffee for sugar. And so I was like, okay, cool. And then I was like, oh, no, I was like crazy. I was like tying my hair in knots and all kinds of stuff. And what you cut out? I was tying my hair in knots and stuff. Because mm. from the coffee drinking? Yeah, I haven't had no coffee or nothing like that. You got to think this caffeine. Oh, wait, so you haven't had like any caffeine either? No. I hadn't kept caffeine in a year. Wow. So I was just like, I don't know, I was like shaky and like, you know, just tying my hair in knots. And... Uh huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it was good though. I made a butterscotch latte. Butterscotch latte? I took a butterscotch what? and I put it in the milk and I let it melt in the milk. And then I put the milk with the coffee. Oh, yeah. sounds fancy. So I was doing it up. Not really, but you know. But this one girl, she figured out a way to make this cool one. She takes a green apple Jolly Rancher and a butter uh-huh. puts it in the coffee. And it makes like, kind of like a caramel type coffee. Then the other girl takes a fireball and puts it in the coffee. Makes a caramel type of what? One's a caramel, because she takes a green apple Jolly Rancher and a butterscotch. Then the other one takes mm-hmm. a fireball and puts it in her coffee. Oh. Yeah, it's like a cinnamon type of coffee. Just depends. Even though you, you're allergic to cinnamon. Yeah, well, I don't love the cinnamon, so I was like, no. Nah. Well, she was like tasting. I was like, I, I don't taste behind people. <laughs> so, good. so not being rude, but I don't know. People might have hepatitis or something like that. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. You have to think I'm around a lot of people who do a lot of drugs and stuff like that. Not being mean, but I'm good. No, I'm good. Uh-huh. I'll, I'll, I'll try later. Like, I'm not thirsty right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be mean and be like, no. Yeah. They all be talking about they be ready for people to come in with drugs, and I'll be sitting there like, not me. <laughs> what? Yeah, they were like, I can't wait till I get a silly with drugs. And I'd be sitting there like, oh, God, not me. Hey, what? what? I do with drugs. I don't care about drugs. Yeah. I just trip off. I do a lot of crying wow, for people, good. though, because I never realized how bad drugs were. Mm-hmm. God, they're bad. They kill these people, man. Yeah. And they want mm-hmm. it so bad, like. They be in here talking about they sold their bodies for it. And like, I mean, I'm telling you, it's like in in public. Like, I mean, like to a people. Yeah, like on the streets. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's so definitely a shock for sure. I just have to be like, oh, okay. That's crazy. Yeah, I just played a game of spades and I was trying to teach him. I didn't go too slow. I had to get I was like, okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we are trying to play um spades with um Charlotte and Tomo and everyone like that. And they're like, Holy, how do you not know how to play? Your mom is like the the queen of that. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. I've never played before. No. I, I got spazzed out. I was like, y'all too slow for me. I, was like, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Because, you know, people with card level play versus mine is like, eh. you know, They can't I'm, count the cards? No. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, <laughs> the girl with the third card, and I said, you can't throw that. She's like, why? I said, because you already threw a spade earlier, which meant you were cutting hard. So she said, what do you mean? I said, you already threw that earlier when you had a heart. And she was like, oh, yeah, how did you know? I said, because I counted it. And it shouldn't have been in the deck, but now you got it. Mm-hmm. That's how you do that time when I played with Tono and them at their house. I was like, uh-uh, how no, this, this is what it is. I got a question now. Answer it honestly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Do I, do I or do I not like lemonade? You don't? What is it? I hate lemonade. <laughs> right. Why? I don't know. I just never like lemonade. You should have known that because it's good to Sonic and they don't like the lemonade. don't like the lemonade. Oh, the, yeah. You don't like getting the tea, right? Because you always say without it. Yeah, I always say without it. We're at Starbucks, right? Yeah. Okay. Next question. Do I or do I not like cherries? No, you don't. <laughs> okay. That answers my question. Why? I was reading something somebody had wrote on like some stuff, not telling you about it, but it was like some cherry lemonade stuff, it was, like some alcohol, and somebody was trying to drink. It was mine. I was sitting there like, first of all, I don't even drink lemonade. Not not here, but this was at our old house. I was like, I don't even drink lemonade, so I would have never bought any kind of lemonade or any kind of cherry. So I don't know who they talk about, but they ain't talk about me because I hate lemonade and I don't like cherries. <laughs> what? I was like, so it definitely was not mine. <laughs> Uh, I was like, if anything, I'm more blueberry. You know, right. Like, you know, like, even, like, certain places you go, give me blueberry, give me grapes. I can't do cherries. I don't do lemons. Right. Even in ponzu sauce, what kind do I get? The, the green. Wine. Yeah, the green. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe I turned uh, feeding them on the ponzu, and they never knew. They probably drink I know, right? Crazy now. <laughs> Did you get your picture of Sadie, Andrew? No. Okay, I wrote it to DD. You probably haven't got it yet. She probably hasn't got it yet. Not yet, no. Cool, 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 cool. I ate a pack of ramen noodles yesterday. Was, yeah, they were so good. I was like, oh my god, I freaked out. <laughs> This lady's always asking, did you get this? Did you eat this? Because she knows I hadn't had commissary in a year. I was like, yeah. You probably spent all the money. Uh, no, but I spent a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I got everything to try at first. You know what I mean? You know how I eat. Yeah. I'll, I'll eat something and try it, and then I'll be like, I won't do it for a while. You know what I mean? Like, I'll just sit on it for yeah. like two or three weeks, and then I won't do it again. That's what I did. Except Jolly Ranchers. I'll, I'll have to always get them because I love Jolly Ranchers. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, you sent me that paper, so I can mark that off the list. Oh, that's good. That's good. You progressed, and you know it's taking you forever, but you're progressing. You're progressing. <laughs> you say the thing. Anyway. All right. Well, I'll let you go so I can call you tomorrow. Uh, you okay. didn't ever accept that video visit, so I'll have to reschedule. I didn't. Oh, you didn't do it in time. You got to do it now oh. you get the email. So I'll just resend you another one. Okay, sounds good. Okay, love you. So say you love okay. her too. Love- I will, love you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Poor Harley. Poor Harley. Mm-mm-mm. She always sounds, I don't know. I would love to get inside her mind during some of these. <sighs> <sighs> Anything? I, I mean, was in the chat. So I, was, I was half um, 
ret retaining half of it if I pay attention and talk in the chat. So I need to try not to do that, but I don't retain it all, you know. I don't actually recall there being anything online about somebody accusing her of having an alcoholic beverage or buying an out something like that. <laughs> I, I I think that's completely. I, it might not be made up. You never can tell with oh, Tisha Lynn. But I'll say this: just as a rule, I don't like it when people say, "I'm going to tell you half a story, but I'm not going to tell you all the story." Either look, <clears throat> it's like the hokey pokey. You're either going to be all in, or you're going to you're either going to put your whole self in, or you're going to put your whole self out. Okay, that's how I live my life. All right. Either you're going to tell me or you're, tell me all or don't tell me anything, especially when um, it, it, she it, she she knows Harley's going to go look. She told Harley with the intention of Harley getting curious to go look. That's what she wants Harley to do. And, you know, I can't. I'm you, we all know I'm four seven and it it I get everybody gets negative comments. I don't usually respond to the negative comments, but that takes a restraint not to do that. Believe oh, me, yeah. I'm quite capable. And mm -hmm. um I don't I just choose not to, but it does take restraint. There's been a few recently that I've wanted to respond to, but I have not. <clears throat> now, when I was Harley's age, I would have. I would have responded. And so, oh, yeah, me too. you know, really. and I, I remember when I, you know, when you see that kind of stuff online, it is hard. It is hard. And it's hard. It's hard to read and it's hard not to respond. And so I feel like Letitia just even bringing it up to Harley like that, you know, in the way that she did is wrong. It's cruel. Yeah. And, you know. Letitia does. I, I don't think Letitia sees Harley as her daughter the way that the rest of the world usually views, typically views mothers view their daughters. I think Letitia regards Harley as an extension of herself. And it's really sad oh, to me. Well, I remember that from, I remember something about that from the one psychology class I took in college, which was like a 101 basic mm -hmm. psych and they were talking about personality disorders and um, narcissists and how a lot of times people with those personality disorders do think of their children as like an extension of themselves versus their own person. So that's really interesting. You say that. Yeah. Maybe and Tess I, tell me if I'm right, but I swear I remember that. She just is. I mean, I think Letitia suffers from, I do think that she um, probably has a personality disorder. I'm, I mean, I'm, I feel like she's probably got all the cluster Bs. Um, mm -hmm. But I also think that she might have maybe some, you know, bipolar. But <clears throat> I just, I don't like when, I, I don't, I, I hate to see um, that happen. You know, I, it just, it, yeah, it bothers me, me to no end. You know, I mean... Eliz uh, my oldest daughter and I, I mean, like if you were to put our baby pictures together, we are almost identical and we have always been that way. And she, I, she posted a picture the other day and I went and showed her dad and she's like, he said, she just looks, she just looks so much like you. And, um, she does, but I think that she is far prettier than me and she has learned she's been the benefit of all of my mistakes that I've made and I've learned from. So I can, so now that I know better, I can, she can, I can teach her to do better. I don't see her as um, an extension of me. You know, she's her own separate person. And she's, if anything, she's probably a much better version of me. You know what I mean? Not even, not a, she's the best version of herself is what I should say. Cause she's not a better version of me. She's just been the, you know, I made mistakes and I tried to teach her, you know, how to avoid those same mistakes. It's just I ridiculous. Wonder if, well, like for me, I know with Trenton, I've tried to teach him from my mistakes, but he's so hard headed. I fear he's going to make them himself. <laughs> Before well, learns, I, I will know. tell you that it's been my experience. You have that one child who is the stove oh, toucher. <laughs> who is the stove toucher? 
They are the child that you will have the child that you tell the child the stove is hot and they just believe you and they don't touch it. But then you have then you will always have at least one of your children will be a stove toucher. My okay. youngest son is the stove toucher. It was never enough for him to like take apart one of his remote control cars. And I would tell him he had to do it to them all. And I would tell him they're all built the same. It's the shell that's different. And he was just adamant that that couldn't be true. And so he took each, I mean, each and every one of them apart. It drove me crazy. You ever stepped on one of those remote control car pieces in the middle of the night on a barefoot? It's worse than Legos. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. It's worse than Legos. Those and damn action figures like the WWE wrestlers, they hurt. <laughs> they <laughs> but, <do> uh, hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say thank you so much to True Crime Junkie, the OG, for becoming a member. And I will, we will get you guys shut up Tisha emojis. I know you need them. Jen has, Jen, you need a, you do need shirts that say that or something. I know, I got to say loves. something. I got to, I got to figure out a design that says, Shut up, Tisha. Yeah. Hey, Miss Sativa. Okay. Ash says, hey, Mrs. Sativa. No offense, but I'm an indica kind of girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not both. <laughs> Depends. You think Legos are worse? I don't know. Legos, Legos are pretty bad, but some of those parts that go inside a remote control, like the little screws that hold them together, those are worse than a Lego, I think. Yeah, they hurt for sure. I I agree. I mean, Legos hurt, but any of those toys hurt. <laughs> and they make yes. it, you might fall. Who knows? <laughs> and then you guys talking about your your kids that are the same. Michelle. MK. Oh, Ellie, I have that. <laughs> Look He's at good, MK. But we're oil and oil. Jin Lu, that's a kid that will grow up with all kinds of mechanical inclination. Ask me how I know. <laughs> he did, MK. He did. Anytime I'm like, hey, bubs, looky here. I need for this to do this. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. Well, let me look at it, mom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud of that him, you guys. Awesome. I miss him like crazy, but I am so proud of him. I talk to him um, at least two or three times a week, either, you know, checking in through text a lot, but like a phone call. And he's just, I'm just so proud of him. He's up for a management position and I'm just so proud of him. He's just like, you know, he's flown the nest and he's just doing so good, you know, and little mini Aww. Bindi, I'm worried about her, but I'm not, I feel like I'm just worried about that lump in her, th on her, uh, in the, the lymph node that's swollen. I, I kind of think I know what it is and I don't think it's anything like scary or a big deal, but when they're, you know, it's hard. I want to be right. right there and I want to take care of it, but I also know that it's, that doing everything for her is not the right thing to do either. And so, oh, you want a yikes on bike shirt? All right. No, no malicious night. Yikes. On yikes. <laughs> we need a sound bite. Mayla's mom, we do. I'll have to get us some. And then um, Claudia, I think, said something about Melissa. My other favorite, it's me, Melissa. I love her and that laugh. Yes. I know. If you don't laugh when you hear her laughing, you are you human? <laughs> but, yeah, are you even living right? Because I remember when that happened. <laughs> That was back during the Brian, um, the uh, Gabby Petito. And um, she was calling the, I cannot, I feel like she was calling um, the, the, the um, laundry's attorney's office. And the lady said, may I say, may I ask who's calling or something to that effect? And Melissa said, it's me, Melissa. <laughs> like the secretary is going to know, you know, like, like it's just the way she said it. it. It was so spontaneous and it just made me laugh. And, you know, Melissa has a fantastic sense of humor. She really does. Yeah, she, she really, does. really Look, does. Ash, Ash wants a, I want a lying liar face who tells lies shirt. And then, oh my goodness. Um, Sparkle said, Jin Lu Lin. Jin Lu Lin. <laughs> MK Lin. <laughs> Okay, baby, I love you. Bye. Okay, well, oh. you know what? I don't think we're gonna get through all of these. We still have an hour, and we're two. I think it'll take us two hours to do one hour. Exactly. So, do you, you want the, last, you the next so one? We, is Aunt Brenda? Oh, if y'all well, want to hear her, that. and then we can and do. Because do yeah, if we do the next time. three, sorry, if we do the next three, that's Amy, YouTuber, and Harley, and they're all fifteen, so fifteen thirty, forty-five minutes.
the next three calls are 45 minutes and then we can start April tomorrow night on my, on my channel. Well, okay. We'll see how far we get because if we do start these, we're not going to have enough to do on your channel. You know what I mean? To do. No, no. What I'm saying is we can do like, we can just finish up April, the last like three calls or whatever on my channel for, oh, okay. for March and then just start April right after that. Okay. That'll be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And then malicious. Thank you for the super sticker. Thank you so much. Okay. No All right, well, let's malicious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's listen to um, Aunt, uh, Aunt, Aunt Branda. Aunt Branda. Okay, baby. Hi, baby. See, I, I wish I had time to do an overlay for Aunt Branda because I love writing her name out like that. <laughs> Aunt Branda. Now, I will say this to y'all. Aunt, Aunt Branda's call took place at 6.50 a.m., which is oh. uh, 8.50 a.m. Brenda's time. And, and, and again, I'm not a morning person. All right. But let ain't Brenda. She she just comes out the gate way too like chipper for that time of day. I know she it's early it's later where she's at, but yeah. Yeah, that too. No malicious back the milk truck up. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> hey Mark. All right. You ready? Yes, ma'am. Ain't baby. Come right. on, ain't Brenda, baby. <laughs> Hey, baby. Hey. Sorry, Jen. Good morning. How are you feeling? Already. Are you fine? Are, are you adjusted to your other location uh, yet? In and out, kind of, sort of. So like a little in a culture shock, you know. Well, it's going to take you a little bit to get used to it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Around people, what have you been up to? Um, cousin Elton just come by the house to uh, <laughs> drop a spray um door out. But uh, he's coming back in a, in a couple hours to do the yard work, and uh, the work we're going he's going to work in the yard some, and nothing. I got some. I gotta get finish up my tax papers and stuff like that. I gotta do my taxes. Yeah. And stuff. And I haven't done that yet. I gotta get that done. And um, that's it. Mm -hmm. Um. Did you get to order you some food, Trader? Oh, yeah. Ordered. Yeah, I ordered a little bit. Okay. When you say you ordered a little bit, you have to order it every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to do it every week. I um, I just got like, I didn't get a lot. I just got a couple of noodles and some ketchup. <laughs> oh, you love ketchup. Yeah. Well, well, you know what? Um, order it every week. That way, you'll have something coming in every week. Yeah, yeah, I am. I think I'm going to order coffee this time. Yeah, like I said, uh, if you have a certain amount you can order, or you got a, yeah, a yeah. limit. Yeah, you can order a certain amount every week. Well, like I said, just uh, um, order and just order every week, and then that way every week you got something coming in. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I did you a little bit. Ahead of time. I did a little did you bit. Get you, did you get you some shirts or socks yeah and the long sleeve shirt i did that because my first order i had to get that stuff and i had to get it ready um because i think uh because charlie put the money on there the other day she and um, when i talked to her she said she was putting it on there and she did so i went and got a long sleeve shirt and some socks and stuff like that well she had the money because i she had the money she should have done it couple weeks ago remember that the last time you called me i called harley and and, and harley had the money how much did you give her then 150 dollars oh you had already given her 150 dollars when when you called me and told me you were going into that uh, other part yeah and you could buy food and stuff yeah i Time I hung up talking to you, I called Harley and told Harley 
to send you $150 because you were going to go into another section where you can get some foods and food and socks and stuff, whatever yeah, day yeah. that was. Yeah, she did that then. I was, I was, I was just asking you because I was like, wait a minute, she didn't tell me. She didn't tell me you gave her $150. I was like, whoa, she didn't tell me that. But I see what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, because she she knows how to do it, work to you and all. Yeah. See, I'm not that familiar with it. So usually a lot of times I'll tell Harley, I'll pay power or do that pay cash out or whatever to Harley, yeah. and then Harley takes care of that for me. Yeah, yeah. She put the 150 that day. So, you know, that's that's the way I told Harley we would have to work it. Yeah. And that way she could do it. And then Harley's one of these young ones that, you have to stay on her. She won't do it right then, or she'll wait a day or two or three or four days. Who was on there? I thought you had did it because it was on there right away. So that was good. That was a long sleeve shirt. And I got a radio with batteries. So I could listen to music and then I got a little bit of food because I had to buy the radio. And I was like... Like 30 How bucks. much for the radio? Thirty bucks for a radio, and it's a dollar and four cent per battery. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Well, that's so why they make their extra I know, money. So that's how these people make it. But I had to have the radio because it was like it helped me, you know, a lot with the time. Because you still don't get more time out over here because they you have to lock down for so much stuff. But at least I got the radio to supplement it, you know. So I didn't have the radio before. Yeah, and like I said. You know, when you when you start running low of money, yeah, you the people record, you need to let us know so we can go ahead and put some more in there for you. Yeah, yeah. So you know, when, when you start running low, let me know. Huh? I got um a long sleeve shirt that was like twenty bucks, and then I got a radio with thirty bucks with the batteries, and then that was thirty five dollars in food. So that's what I did. Because I think my first so, order was like seventy eighty bucks because I had to get the radio and all that. But then this time I won't have to spend but like twenty five dollars. Let me just get some. Coffee and some. Uh, so you want me? To, you need some money? Not yet. I won't need any for like a month. Cause I'm just do twenty five dollars, well, or you know, like this week, twenty five dollars next week. That'd be good. Well, I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you. I'll send. I'm going down to Harley's for the weekend for Easter weekend. Yeah. And we'll send you a hundred dollars. Great. Um, I'm gonna tell you they cut mail out, so you won't be able to mail anymore other than books. Uh, so we're not allowed any more mail. Um, you have to do it through the app now. So that's why they're doing that is because everything has to be done on the app now. So if you get a chance, try to figure out how to work the app. I'll take it. I'll take my computer. I'm going to take my laptop with me when I go to Harley. Yeah. And and everything because, uh, like I said, I'm going down there to stay a couple of days with her. Yeah. And um, she, she asked me about Easter and she told me to go stay with her. I said, I'll go down there and stay with you. Yeah, I told her, I said, I'll go stay with you, Aunt Brenda. I meant Harley. She said, Aunt Brenda, she said, uh, that bed might be hard. I don't know what I said. I baby, I said, I got a sleeping bag. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I said, don't worry about me. I said, you know, whatever. I said, As a matter of fact, I said, you can sleep in the sleeping bag and I can sleep in your bed. <laughs> and she laughed at me. I said, now you do know you have to give up your bed for an old person. <laughs> she said, but uh, I got I got a sleeping bag and stuff like that. So I told her I was going to go down and stay with her for a few days. Yeah, yeah. Get out of the house. Yes, yeah, so I that think way she you needs figure, I, figure out that job, and, you know? and I think she needs company. Yeah. But all in all, everything else is going okay. I'm I'm walking around good. I'm doing good. I just don't drive a lot. Yeah. Um. Um, because my reactions is not as quick as they used to be, mm. especially since this surgery. Right. Uh, I, I can't, you know, but um, I'm I'm getting there. I'm I'm getting there. Yeah. Take a um, bit I yeah I I got a couple of trips I want to go on, so um, I'm, I'm getting right. there. <laughs> I got I got 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 to get motivated so I can get out of. I need kind of rubbing me down for a few months. Yeah. That's when I told Harley that too the other day. I said, oh, I, I need to get out. Don't blame me on that one. So I'm ready to get out of Robinson County. This place is tripping me out, these people. <laughs> I know. I know. I'll <laughs> you on that one. 
Mm. I said, somebody said something other to me the other day, and I said, she asked me how your mama was doing, and I said, you know what? I would tell you if I know. I said, if she don't stop by my house, she don't. I'm not a member of their church group, and she don't. She don't come to my house. Well, I feel you there too. <laughs> I mean, if 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 you're a member of her church group or Levina or something like that, she'll break your neck. She'll break her neck. Yeah, but if you remember our church her church group or her little group, she ain't got no use for you. Well, I I'd have never thought Deborah would have been like this. Never. Well, like I told you, Brenda, I'm her own flesh and blood, and <laughs> I ain't heard from her in almost a year. Well, I, I, that's the part I can't understand about her. That's the part. She, it's like she puts you, she just I don't know. They got I, I, I I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm sorry, Tisha Lynn, she's like that by you, but I'm yeah, sorry. She's been like that all the time though. No, she's not. When you were out and you were making money and this and that and you were buying her pots yeah, and like pans, this and that stuff, yeah. yeah, and you could she was right under you. Yeah, but I'm, right saying, I'm saying like any time I needed something, she never was there, but Huh? I said any time I needed something, she was never there. Well, that's the thing. That's that's how it hey, that's how it was when we were coming up. Yeah. She was the same way like that coming up. Yeah. I mean, even when she was a teenager like that, she was um I don't want to say she's selfish because that would be a wrong term to use. She's got a good heart when she wants to. Yeah. But she's selfish when it comes to me, and she's jealous. Yeah, I know. And she shouldn't be jealous of me. Because you know what? I, I, she's always felt like this place to be hers. Well, if it hadn't been for Tommy, she wouldn't have that little shack she's got up there where she's at now if it hadn't been for Tommy. Yeah, and no, I remember. And Tommy told her to take one room at a time and work at it, and fix it up the way it's supposed to be, and do a, do a good job. One room at a time. Well, look what she done. She took up with Stevie Dow. Nothing was never done. Then she took up with Greg. Nothing was never done. So, why she still ain't done that took it off? She, she, I don't know. She came into some money some way. And she had this boy to go to her and work on the house. And, oh, my God, Tish Lynn, it was gorgeous on the inside. Gorgeous. Kitchen cabinets, painted, porch done, everything. I mean, it was gorgeous. Bathroom and all. Mm -hmm. Six months later, it looked like a thing had been done to it. Mm -hmm. Deborah is not a housekeeper. I know. Trust me, I know. I did, I did not get that from her. I mean, Harley talked about the other day because Harley was like, that's why I can't believe with people because people aren't clean. I said, Harley, you know you've been raised around me and you've been like, there was no specs or on the floor. I said, my mom, well, you had to live. I did all the cleaning because she never cleaned nothing growing up. Well, Deborah's house is just cluttered. Uh, she's not a house. I love her to death, but she's not a housekeeper. She's not a housekeeper. She's not a yard person. Mm -hmm. You don't want nobody to see in the yard doing anything. And poor pitiful Aunt Brenda, she's in the yard. She's in the house. Well, if it's got to be done, I'm gonna have to do it. But Deborah's not like that. She was. Mm -hmm. She was like that coming up when she was coming up as a small child staying here. Deborah never done nothing. Deborah, Deborah, Deborah never would, won't clean up nor do yard work or nothing like that. She never did. She never did. Yeah, I had to get she, that from my dad because my dad's clean. Well, you had to get it from your daddy because Ray Lockler's not clean. Yeah. So you had to get it from Kenny and then being around me too. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, that, that too, because I know Stephanie will tell you right quick that tell I raised, although she's 
she's out in the world doing her own thing, everywhere she stays, it's clean. Yeah. She Now, she might be out in the world, but wherever she's at staying, raggedy house or whatever, it's clean. Yeah. Might not be the best in the world, but it's clean. Uh, and she'll tell you right fast, if mama go upside the head, she didn't clean up. Yeah. She, I, I didn't like, I don't, I don't. I don't go for this nasty. I don't go for nasty. You have one minute remaining. But baby, I'm glad you're doing okay and I love you and I'll send you some money and holler at us if you can thank the Easter weekend. Well, I'm going to set a video visit with Harley on Easter. Okay, I'll be with her. So I'll just do like a 30 minute one. Okay, and I'll be with her, okay? Yeah, then you can figure out how to use the thing because, like I said, they're cutting off all the mail, so you won't have a way to mail me. And uh, you have to do it in the app. You can text me or you can send emails. Okay, all and right. Pictures. And you I can send pictures in there, too. Okay. okay. I love right. you, darling. Love you. Love you, bye, bye, baby. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hey, Bendy. I put in the private chat, but I forgot Melissa has a big live at eight. So oh, what do you think about it? here? Do you want to, we can, might have, we could do one more call because we have 15 minutes. If you said it was about 15 minutes. Yeah, they're all about 15 minutes. Yeah, it's up to you, babe. But if, if Melissa, yeah, but if, yeah, that's fine. I mean, what do you, what can we say about these two? You know, right. clucking Trust ass hands, you know, look, I'm going to say wonder, it like this, Tisha Lee, and then you, and you, and it, you can say whatever you want back, but the facts is facts. All right. Everybody that walked into that house said it smelled like, um, smell goods over dog urine your house wasn't clean okay truly clean people yeah. will not allow that to happen they're not lazy and they will pot and they will house break their dogs yeah and i know little Absolutely. dogs are harder to do but for then don't have them if you can't get it if you can't do it yeah yeah and uh oh ugh. I'm sorry, but that just grosses me out. And um, it grosses me out, too, the way they sit there and talk trash. So maybe yeah. Deborah's listening. But um, they they sit there and talk trash about every time they talk to each other. Lori says, ain't B talking shit about everyone. And that's yeah. the truth. I mean, they're just like All two right, well, hands just a cluck, cluck, clucking. And by the way, how clean can you fucking be when you don't shower on a regular basis, ma'am? Right. Shut up. The, yeah, shut, shut up, Tisha. Tisha. But I could see her not changing them if she had pee pads or something. I just don't see that going well for them, but uh, for her. But okay, so let's listen to one more call and then go because it's okay. we got about about fifteen minutes. Melissa has a big live on Kim WSU Kim. I know, Idaho, I know. I'm super yeah. excited to hear that. So, and also, mm -hmm. um, Allie and yes. I are we're talking about there Yolanda Saldivar, who uh, is the one who murdered Selena. Um, <clears throat> she has a docu series that premieres today on Peacock. The girl will be streaming it and are watching it, you know. And I, I, I was thinking, and I told Allie that last night we should cover that. So, um, just, yeah. uh, just a FYI, just to, to remind everybody. Yeah, I really want to do that. It's not Tess. Let me go look. I just talked to her before this and it was eight. Did she yeah. push it? Did she push it? Maybe? I think so. All right, let me look. I think so. Till let tomorrow. She pushed it to tomorrow? Mm hmm Okay. At eight? Yeah. Okay, so then I guess we'll what we'll do is we'll we'll do uh we'll do our live tomorrow at the same time from five to okay. before, you know, we'll be off by seven fifty. That way, okay, we can That'll go work. over there and and support Melissa because I'm sure she's worked incredibly hard. Yeah, and then, I think um, Aunt Brenda watches Gunsmoke. Mark, I don't think she watches Hee Haw. I think she's a Gunsmoke gal. I love Selena too. That was one Me of my too. favorite movies as a kid. I Me just too. I love it. Bitty, mm -hmm. bitty, bum, bum. Oh bitty, my god! Bitty, bum, bum. I Who is it that asked for me to sing? Now there you go. <laughs> yeah, I cried every single time for the the death scene where she's like up on stage in the rose and I like mm -hmm. oh my god, I love that movie. And we just sang the song from that scene the other day in here, and now I can't really think of what it was. Well, what do you want to do? Do you still want to do another one? And then yeah, it's up to we'll, you. Whatever you want to do. Well, I know that 
we have okay so the first video for april that i've been working on remember mm -hmm. i split it into two videos anyway mm -hmm. that one was an hour and 30 minutes before the cuts now it's down to like an hour and 15 but i'm not done yet i still have to cut out a couple more parts and then figure out how to get the picture on the screen okay. like i told you but okay. um so we could do some of both and you could just title it march and april yeah it's a, however you want to do it babe like listen let's it's it's not don't put too much pressure on yourself it's just it's just us just chit-chatting with the friends listen to, to old tisha lee and talking shit so don't pump tart straws reference isn't straws it's short Hint, honey wills it's short for strawberry <laughs> right yeah I, I heard melissa i think melissa was confused going through that i don't remember mm. what I, I don't remember we went through the commissary list too but it's been so mm. long i can't remember even reading that or what if we knew what it was at the time but you're right hiney wills or however you say that um is it dreaming of you tonight yeah is yeah Oh my God. I love that movie. Yeah. I can't wait to talk about that. Okay. Well, let's go, let's go ahead and listen to this one and okay. then we'll chat for a minute. Maybe we'll wrap it up. We're two and a half hours in. Is that okay? You ready? Okay. Yes, I'm fine. This is, um, Amy, uh, L. Okay. Well, here we go. Mm -hmm. I mean, and this is right after she got hung up with Brenda, with Aunt Brenda. Then she just hangs that up and then 707 AM. Boom. She's talking to Amy. L. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Too busy in the morning. He's a busy bee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello. Hey. Hey, where have you been? Girl, we got put on lockdown for two days. One day happened because it just happened on our out time that it was meds, mental health, COVID tests, and everything. Then the next day, there was a pipe that was leaking on our timeout. So my same group didn't come out again. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. So then the next day, I met with Caitlin. For, um, we ran over a little bit on my time out, and when I came back, they were like, walk down for this, walk down for that. The little bit of time I got out yesterday, I like ran around and I had to shower, I had to shave, I was like, oh, I already had to talk to her. I mean, I was losing my mind. I had to order stuff. I was like, geez, I feel like I'm more, that's all crazier. Yeah, because I was like, um, oh, what day was it? I was, I was going to, uh, maybe it was Monday or Tuesday, I can't remember, but, um, your your friend texted me and told me that she was coming to see you and she let me know that if you called me to let you know that she was coming in to see you that following day. Yeah. So I was like, Yeah, if she calls out I'll let her know, but then you never called. Um and then the following day we were supposed to have a video chat. I know. So I knew that she was I knew she was coming in to see you. So I was like, Well, I know it's coming close because like she was coming in an hour before yeah. we were supposed to like meet up on video. So I was like, I don't know if she's gonna make it, but I'll like I'll go to video chat and wait. We did a show up, so I was like, okay, no big deal. But then the last couple of days, I was like, I hope she's all right because I haven't heard from her. And I, I was know. talking to my husband, and I was like, I don't know what's going on. I was like, I can't call, so I don't know. Like, what the heck's going I on? I was worried too, but I, I told her, I said, it's not like the in other word. You got your hour no matter what. I mean, even if you had to wait till, you know, 10 p.m. at night. But in here, yeah. if, if something falls during this time out here, you just don't. You're screwed. They don't. They oh, wow. Don't. So our group got yeah. through the, those three days, and we were all losing our mind. Like, we got a shower for crying out loud. Like, <laughs> the girls were like, we're on a period. We need a shower. And I was like, you know what's funny? Mine didn't start until <laughs> right before I got out with the shower. I was like, hallelujah. I would have been freaking. You know what's funny? Like, so I actually, I just got out of the shower, and my husband just woke up. And I was, like, drying off my hair, and he came into the bathroom. And I was kind of giving him the rundown of, like, what I was going to do today. And I was like, yeah, I got to go to the store and do this, that, and the third, because he, like, is inviting his friends over today. So we're just talking about, you know, stuff and whatnot. And I was like, you know what? I haven't heard from Leticia lately. Like, it's been, like, four or five days. And he was like, oh, yeah. And I was like, yeah. Like, I wrote her a couple letters this week and blah, blah, blah. And then, like, we switched over subjects. And then my phone started vibrating. And I looked out. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> uh, crazy. Yeah, so, like, yeah, I know. She, she, like, I, I left her visit because she came at 10. So I left her visit at 11.04. I got back in here at 11.09. So I don't have to do all the restraints and stuff now. So I walk right back. And I got ready to go to the video machine. And she's like, oh, your group's on lockdown again. I was like, why? What did they, what do we do? And she was like, oh, <laughs> she was like a pipe broke. And we got to wait for someone to come clean it. It should only be a few minutes. Yeah, a few minutes turned into four hours. 
Wow. And I was like, well, I have a video visit. I was like, come on, I took another least call. And they were like, no, the pipe. And I was like, the pipe is busted on the other side of the world, though. Why can't we all get to stand over here? Like, yeah, that's silly. So usually some deputies, they'd have been like, yeah, just stay over here and mark it off. But we had one of the ones that was like, you know, RoboCop, so she obviously, you know, I was like, oh, my yeah. God. And I was like, I would have just stayed with Caitlin if I would have known that crap. Yeah. <laughs> I know, because I was like, oh. I stay with her, because she was driving me out. She was, she's going to go to Mexico, right? She's going to go to Mexico to talk to E. And, uh, oh. Yeah, so she's flying out there. And uh, then she's going to fly to Myrtle Beach to get my other iPhone, even though we were able to pull up, like, even though we can, like, have the iCloud on the um, computer, she's still going to go get the phone uh, from there. Remember that extra phone that they didn't have that has all the stuff on it? She's going yeah. to get that. Um, she was like, I just want to have it. She said, even though we can get on the iCloud and view everything like we've done, she said, I still want the phone too that way. You know, just in case. <laughs> yeah. Like, cool. So she said that and she said, go to Mexico. She's like, ooh, tell me about part of Mexico. And I was like, and I started laughing. I was like, see you north? She was like, where? I was like, okay, well, what about, you might meet you in Jalisco. She's like, where? <laughs> I was like, oh, um, Guadalajara. She's like, oh, you're trying to send me in straight. Who to Mexico? I was like, well, that's where you're going. <laughs> she's like, dang. I said, I mean, I said, he might meet you in like Puerto Vallarta or somewhere. I said, you can ask him, but I doubt it. <laughs> I, said, wow. I said, you crazy. Wait, you can fly into Guadalajara if you want to. Is she, uh, is she excited or nervous? Well, I said, but, you know, if you talk really nice, you know, I mean, it's tidy, then he might go to Puerto Vallarta. But, um, I was like, I don't know. I put him out of his element. He won't be around his crew. He'd be thinking someone's setting him up. Yeah. Oh, man. Him. What are you saying? He ain't going to go meet somebody in Puerto Vallarta because, you know, they're going to be like, oh, you know. So he oh, two, man. Two people get arrested there in Puerto Vallarta. He's going to be like, oh, no, nah, man. Y'all trying to trick me. He don't think I'm trying to trick him. Oh, uh, well. That's he's going to make, she... he's, he's make her go in the mountains. <laughs> When is she going out there? Oh, uh, we're supposed to keep talking about it because she's wanting to get him on. Um, uh, she said, I'm going to go get him on video and uh, just stuff like that. Because, see, here's the thing about it. Like, uh, she could get him on video where, like, you know, if anything changes or whatever, all she's got to do is, you know, be on, like, a sworn statement. You know what I mean? Like, she, not, not yeah. for her. She can say, well, hey, you told me this. You know, don't change this. You know what I mean? He's not saying yeah. he's going to do whatever his attorney says or whatever, but, you know. Anyway, so she said oh, he's going to get that together, and I was like, all right. But then the next thing I have to tell you is, um, oh, yeah, I forgot what else she said she was going to do. She'd been writing down names of people because some, some girl in here was telling people that when she was in the hole with me or in A2, she was like, hold on with this one girl while by, and I tell you. Wait, what? I said, hold on a minute. Okay. Um, I was letting um, someone walk back. But anyway, this girl was like, um, telling some girl, she's like, yeah, when I was over in 82, she told me this, 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 and this. I'm like, I don't even know this girl. What is she telling? She's like, I don't even know. I remember talking about this shit. You know, and um, Tavon was like, you know, people are going to do that just because. She's like, every time you hear someone say that, let's write their names down so we can go ahead and have it. She's like, if I have to make a statement saying that you already told me this, that someone was making up lies. She said, you know, I'll do it under oath. So we started writing people down or whatever. Then the next sentence, the girl goes, yeah, I got schizophrenia and I checked out for a year. And I'm sitting there thinking, now y'all got to be dumb if you don't listen to what this girl's saying. And then the next sentence, she's saying she's got schizophrenia and she checked out for a year. That tells you she's making up whatever the heck she's saying anyway. Yeah, nobody, yeah. nobody's going to believe what she has to say. <laughs> yeah, and then what she was saying was, like, so far off the wall that I was just like, well, this don't make any sense, you know what I mean? She just threw her credibility out the window. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, man. Wow, that's, uh, that's pretty I, intense. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. So the next thing I have to tell you is, I got your letter. First it came and it said from New Mexico, and I was freaking out. I was like, oh, my God. What? So, yeah, so it had your name, and then it had New Mexico. And I was like, someone stole her identity and trying to tr trick me and mail me from New Mexico, or what, or yada, yada, yada. Then come to find out what they do is when you've done it in the app, they then send it with your name from their address. Oh, okay, yeah, because I talked to the email thing, right? <laughs> yeah. 
I was freaked out. Oh. I was like, I was wanting to come out to tell you that someone had stole your identity and was trying to trick me. <laughs> okay, they can have my identity. They can have all the debt that comes with my identity, too. Shit. <laughs> yeah. And so then we got a letter that said, uh, after April 7th, we can't get any more mail here. So Why? Then, yeah, you can get books and like stuff like that from the publisher, like we always do. And you can get illegal mail, but they are not doing the mailroom anymore. They just don't want to do it anymore. I don't know why. I don't know if it's people funding or I don't know. But I was going to tell you guys that everything has to be done now like you did the other one. Okay. Like, but you can still mail out, right? Here's what, like, the people mail you have to do you have to walk in back in there and do your mail? Okay. Yeah. So we can still mail you guys out. It's just that. You guys have to like mail us the way you did it. Okay, okay, yeah, because I, I wrote a letter like two weeks ago and I wrote one last week and mailed it out. So you'll get two more like written letters from me, but then I'll just do the rest of the app. Yeah, and I was concerned. As I was trying to tell everybody so they knew because they said what they're doing is if it just comes in after April 7th, uh, they're just going to like uh, destroy them. Pictures. Wow. And- but they printed that one picture they sent you guys. That was so cute. Uh, the selfie y'all took. Oh, they yeah, that. yeah. Yeah, they brought that to me. I said, oh, do you, do you little girls wear stuff from Justice? Oh, yeah. I thought I, was, I thought they might cheer you up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, do they like to wear stuff from Justice? They do, yes. Yeah, I could tell. You know that outlet in Myrtle Beach has all the stuff discounts, right? The true Justice outlet. See, I've only ever been by there. I've never actually gone, like... There, I've only ever driven by there. Yeah, it's an actual true outlet, so that's where you need to buy all the just so from when you get their school clothes again. Um, seven ninety nine usually supplies in there. Like seven ninety nine would be like you get everything. You can get one ninety nine tank top. Oh dang! See, because I wanna I wanna go to Myrtle Beach soon. It's, it's literally two hours on the dot from my house. Yeah. So I wanna hit up like some of the shopping areas out there, and then go to the beach. You know where the the big old like Ferris wheel's at right by the yeah. beach. Yeah. I like to park out by there and go walk the strip and everything. Yeah. And have a couple of shopping areas and the food courts. Stop there doing black pie weed. Oh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> no, thank you. Or you will see everybody naked in their mama. <laughs> oh, God, no. What, what, <laughs> when, what time of the year is that? It's uh, Memorial Day weekend. Okay, yeah, no, I've managed to miss that the last couple of times that I've gone. <laughs> a few weeks before that, it's probably day weekend. That's just. Yeah, the, usually the last couple of times I've gone, I've I've not gone because I usually just go like when I feel like it. But I managed to miss those. <laughs> but watch the next time that I end up wanting to go, I'll manage to go like right when all of that is happening and be like, oh man. <laughs> they have the true Victoria's Secret outlet there now. Ooh, yeah, yeah I would like to go there. Only in Orlando was our closest one. Remember the one in Orlando? That yeah, was, that was the true one. But now they got one in Myrtle Beach. So so they got like a couple now. They got one in Texas, Myrtle Beach. New York, Los Angeles, and Orlando, and they're true outlet stores. Oh, wow. Okay, that's good to know, because I don't want to drive all the way to Orlando. <laughs> yeah, because they have been, like, the 9.99 girl and stuff like that. I love Victoria's Secret. I could spend way too much money there. Yeah. I don't know how people kill me. <laughs> yeah. He just gave me a dirty look when I said that. <laughs> but how, how have you been doing this uh, week? Mentally, I've been in and out. It's a, we don't ever get to sleep in this world. Because there's always, even worse than the other world, there's this one chick that took this old lady out of here last night in the SV because she was in a bra and panties when they took her out of here. Uh, she was going crazy all night, banging on the door. Come on, hit me, hit me, hit me, y'all, hit me, kill me, kill me. <laughs> and then it's crazy. not funny. It is that when she does it, she's well, she got to because she's so bad at her vaccine. She's 74. So then they, they came and got her. They kept telling her, wait, look at there, look at there, look at there. And they came and got her finally. And she was freaked out. But she's been losing it. So, yeah. I noticed uh, the one that got, we video chatted, all the people, I can see all the people in the background. They're being loud. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. That's, that's nice thing, too. But I got to listen to a few songs. Um, I was going to tell you, you got to listen to that song, There is Jesus. I'm sure you probably heard it. It won a Grammy. But it's got yeah. Zach Williams with Dolly Parton. Oh my God, that is my song right there. I got to finally hear it. 
with my radio, I finally got it. And I was like, oh gosh, I love that room. It's like the Chris Davis kind of, you know, awful music. Yeah. I bet it's nice to have a radio now, too, and get to enjoy some music. Yeah, for sure. I try to, I don't know how long the batteries last, but because they're like a dollar each battery, but so far I've got eight hours on them. I've used it for eight hours. I'm trying to like test it and see how long it'll last each week until I reopen and get more batteries, you know? Yeah, that's a pretty decent amount of time. Yeah, yeah. Have you, um, have you gotten any more of your discovery, like the paper copies of it yet? No, I've just been doing everything on the... So I had to end up getting me a laptop because the computer didn't work for some of the files. Oh. So, so I think they've been really good since... Um, you have one minute remaining. Okay, well, it's going to hang off. Um, I was going to ask... You me. have 60 seconds remaining. Um, would you text Caitlin and just tell Ecker say, hey, I asked if she could bring the sample when she comes next week, and she'll know what I, a sample document when she comes next Yeah, week, I can do that. She'll know what I mean. And yeah. tomorrow, I think, tomorrow today we have a visit? Yeah, it is, yep. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Hopefully, uh, as long as my group don't get locked down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, yeah, I'll do that for you. Have a good okay. Saturday. Okay. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I turned down. I tu- I tu- I disassociate for like at least seventy five percent of that call. But, and I'm not gonna lie, seventy five percent. I was disassociated for a good seventy, maybe even seventy six percent of yeah. that call. Well, okay, so there's part of it where they're talking about this girl who says she's schizophrenic and says such off-the-wall shit that it ruins her credibility and nobody's going to believe anything she says because she's talking so crazy. And I'm like, uh... Hello? (laughs) The calls are coming from inside the house, ma'am. Yeah. (laughs) Um... And also, yeah, Tisha was quiet. It was hard to hear a little bit at the end, but like I was saying in the chat, Amy is, you've already got it, so Amy is so loud. There's really no other thing to do except watch the closed captioning. I hate the way she does that. Like, why? I think she's trying to be quiet because of the people around her at times. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, if I, okay, look, if I were a sound engineer, then I could separate their audio, okay? But there's a lot of times when Letitia is talking under and over Amy and Amy is talking under and over Letitia. And I know somebody suggested, why can't I split them? And do you know the amount of work it would take for the, it? This is something that a sound engineer should somebody do. Somebody said that? Yes. Yeah, you split. Can do that. If I were to split, yeah, I could do it. Do you know how long it would I mean, take me though to be, to, to yeah. I would have to get it down to the millisecond, which is one but, it's uh, tedious enough. But then, you, yeah, but also they do talk over, like you said. They, so exactly. Was, There's no, you know, th- let me tell you this much. What you're hearing is a thousand times better than the way that they come in the, um, with the audio play, with the, with their player. Right. I've, I've done the best that I can. I'm not a sound engineer. Although one of our um, a great job. person, huh? I think you've done a great job. Thank you. So, uh, one of our um, subscribers did reach out and offered to do the audio, um, but I told them that I don't get paid until the 21st, and I would not ask anybody to do that for free, but I also wanted them to teach me, so I told them I would pay for lessons because I, w- I would like to know how to do it. You know, I just don't have the right stuff to do it right now, you know, to, to do it that well to really clean it up there's a way to really clean it up it's just you know yeah well i think you've done a great job and the rest were great it was just that one where she was a little quiet and Um, and i worked on that one and i just if i adjusted it i mean i mean i can i went through and and i didn't just turn it all up at once right like i just didn't uh, turn the volume up i did go through and try to and, and elevate uh, Letitia's calls, but there is that one part where, for wherever, whatever reason, she's talking very quietly. And I think it has to do with what you said, Allie. I don't, I don't think she wants people um, to hear what she's saying. I agree. 
<laughs> good. I was reading Claw's comment and I almost laughed and I'm trying to be serious and because I agree with you. She's trying to be quiet for the people around her. <laughs> but I just it, it, it. <laughs> Oh, look, Mayla's mom, you have done awesome. The word case studies. I appreciate you. that you do what you do for us. S. Hockett, y'all do so much already. Damn, some people are never happy. I can't believe somebody was, well, maybe they were just being nice and qu like questioning, could you split it? Yeah, but, which I could. That, I Can I do it? Yes. It is not something that's not, can that cannot be done. It's just that I'm going to, like, it would just it would it would it would be very very tedious it, it would take a very it would take a long time to do something like that it's kind it's not that it's it would just be tedious it's not hard it's just tedious right oh adrian i didn't think you were fussing at all i just i mean it was a little bit quiet for me because i didn't have my mm -hmm. headphones on but like heather said it with headphones you can she says it's damn near perfect with headphones which is awesome so um i was just saying it, it was a little quiet, but it, there's nothing you can do when Amy's so already turned. You can tell mm -hmm. that she, you probably turned it up already and she's pretty loud. You know, I so. turned Amy down. That is Amy's volume down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, and I, it's, I just want to explain that to people that I do. I, I think it's something that we should talk about, though. Um so first let me answer this question uh so the it per, the um docuseries it's a two night episode or two episode two night thing with yolanda saldivar okay but it's going to be on oxygen tonight it will be tonight's episode will be able will be available to stream on peacock tomorrow and tomorrow night's episode will be available to stream on peacock on sunday and no, no, no. I think I don't think anybody was complaining about the sound. I don't yeah. want anybody to take it that way. But I do think that it oh. is worth talking about. Letitia plays games. And mm -hmm. there are times when um, she does intentionally speak quietly. And it's also, you know, it's a sh it's a shame sometimes that they're that the that the calls between she and Amy sometimes cause me to disassociate due to the inane babble that they do because the truth is Letitia is is isn't just having a chat it's not like it, when Allie and I talk on the phone and we're just talking right and Letitia the things that Letitia talks about with Amy is is an agenda there's an agenda behind it Amy is oh, yeah. the one that's all up in the Facebooks. And so it's her like little, it's her duty or her job or whatever to relay stuff on Facebook. That's what she does. And that's why she yep. says certain things to Amy. And, you know, she does get intentionally quiet because I don't think she wants people hearing what she's talking about. You know, agree. And if people don't like, if people can't or like have problems with this, y'all, I'm editing April and I've never edited on the computer. So just buckle up and let's, well, you're going to do, you are going to do a fantastic job. Once it, it it's, I'm going to be, tell the truth. It's a learning curve. Okay. One, and it's a lot of trial and error, but once you get it, you will get it. You're a smart cookie. I have yeah. every faith in the world that you're going to be fantastic. Hell, you might out edit me. Once you told me about the split, that helped. Because, like, I had already recorded those, you know, with the <laughs> screen recorder, then downloaded mm -hmm. them. But I've only ever, on, ever edited on my phone. And it's a whole different thing, I even can't on this imagine same doing app. that. It's too little for me. I need to be able to, like, I need to be able to see, I need to, you know, cause sometimes there's well, just like, I don't know. I can't do it on my the phone. phone. The phone doesn't, it's easy because it doesn't have as many options. So it's not oh, as like detailed. Yeah. That's where I get frustrated. I need more mm -hmm. options. I, I like to have lots of options. So that's probably yeah, why well, the phone I mean, isn't a good idea. So on me. the phone, you can do like stuff fast. You can you can extract audio. I can do that on the phone. You can mm -hmm. um, cut stuff, do overlays, do uh, transitions and some sound effects. But really, 
that's it. There's no like in detail and it doesn't have all the different windows and all like, I don't know. It just looks so different on the computer. It's, it seems more advanced in my opinion. It usually but. is. You can do more on a computer than you can on your phone, but still, I mean, it depends on what you're doing. This, this kind of a thing is something you definitely want to do on a computer, not on, not on your phone. I would think, I mean, a call right. maybe, but a month of right. calls, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. Brandy Wine, you don't sound strange at all. She said, you guys have helped me so much. I know it sounds strange, but it's the truth. You guys, I feel that way about you guys. Yeah. I truly don't know what I would do without you guys. You have just like, and YouTube too, because before I was a creator, I was a viewer and it mm -hmm. was such an escape for me. And it had exactly. like a little happy. Yeah. Exactly. And then now they like just the support you guys give us, even with the recent stuff with all the calls and everything. I just, yeah. I can't get over the love and support and it just helps through like the toughest times. And I Absolutely. just appreciate it. So I mean, much. Look, look at when I had my little hot flash, which wasn't, a, that's the worst hot flash I've ever had. Never had one like that. I can usually just ignore it, you know, push and you can't really ignore a hot flash. We push through it. You know what I mean? But that one had me all the, I mean, I was all kinds of flustered. Like my brain wasn't even working. I was buffering and then it was speeding up. It was a mess. And when I came back and I told you guys about it, you guys are so supportive and you're like, we're going through it too. You know, I hate a hot flash. So it, that's, yeah. like, that's important, you know? So as much as you say, we help you, you guys really help us too. Yes, absolutely. You know? Oh, I think it said you guys are a dream team. Oh, I love you guys. You guys. You, guys. you guys are so sweet. We do have a little thing. We do have to talk about regarding the calls though. So. Yes. Um, but before that, let me read you this yes. real quick. So okay. Heather says, I'm such Heather and kimchi. I'm such an introvert. I love hanging out here. It's one of my safe spots. Michelle, I love you and Jen Lou. You guys are so freaking sweet. I just love you guys so much. Um, okay, Mayla's mom, she said that <laughs> oh. get her. For anyone wondering, they have ended the search for Audrey this morning. Nothing since and I asked, was anything found? She said nothing since the backpack they're going to resume in the morning so they usually do that when it gets dark mm -hmm. that's that sweet baby y'all pray for that baby yeah all the missing babies absolutely i i don't know mm -mm. i I've, I've been following that case but um i i have resisted covering it covering it because it's so fresh and it's so new. Um, I, I just, when it comes to, I, I don't know. I just, it, I'm real with you guys know, I've talked to you guys about it 11 billion times. I, um, I, can't, I don't want to ever do anything inadvertently because it would be inadvertently to ever harm an active investigation of any kind, but particularly with a child. Yeah, you're right. You're a hundred percent right. I might cover it. I just haven't, I don't know enough yet. I've just been learning about it today and I don't want to jump in there. So, I mean, there's already so many people covering it and then that, I don't know. Um, but I am definitely trying to follow it a little bit and, and learn what I can. Humanimal, I'm so happy to see you, by the way. You're so better at those you. things. Yes, Humanimal. It is good to see you, babe. And she's giving you some, uh, support um to any woman beginning menopause and suffering do not let doctors put you on antidepressants you need hormone replacement therapy i went through utter hell and lost everything advocate for what you need yeah i i i agree with that uh, but i can't i'm not a candidate for hormone replacement therapy because i smoke and the fact of the matter is this nobody wants me to quit smoking and go through menopause simultaneously like i'll be on the news i'm not even i know myself I know this about me, um, but Ali, you do such an incredible job. You're really good at covering missing children's cases. Um, I just, I'm, can be here to support, but I'm just not good with those. I just, it's, I just can't do it. Not as good at, I'm not as good at them as you are. And so you should do it for sure. Thank you. I don't know why, uh, why I'm drawn to them, but I am for some reason. I don't know. I'm drawn to little kids anyways. I mean, mm -hmm. they're awesome. Before Bentley started school, his, 
my niece was with me all the time before we moved to North Carolina. <clears throat> and then even last summer, she came and spent the summer with me. But I will like I loved that so much. Just little kids. They're honest. They're easy. Like it's not. I don't know. I just think that they're awesome. So <laughs> I do. I <laughs> enjoy children, too. The, the kids will tell you the truth. If you ask yep. a child, if you if some if an outfit makes you look fat, your a child will tell you, well, it's not the outfit's fat a fault that you look fat. It's the fact that you're fat. You know what I mean? That's the kind of stuff they'll tell you. But yep. you will not go out <laughs> looking a mess or unloved because kids will tell you. Um, human animal. Um, so I love it when you're here. Um, so I'm glad to see you. And Corky said, I compound hormones at the pharmacy. If you need HRT, get it compounded. They are the closest thing you can get that your body produces. <clears throat> but anyways, Bendy. Yes. What do you want to uh, talk about the calls for a minute? Okay. Or? Yeah. So, um, we just wanted to let everybody that um, donated to the calls know that a refund was issued. But the refund that was issued was issued to the account from which it came, which it was paid from. So um, I, we, I wanted to, I, I know that the other channel has been very busy covering um, the trial and stuff like that. And this is no shade or anything like that, but I, you know, I feel like we got to say something. And so yeah. that's what's going on. Um, I don't know what Allie and my plans are after we finish uh, the video calls. And we have one more month of calls that are pending that are there that we're waiting to get June. And then we mm -hmm. have January through May, I believe it is video calls, video visits. Um, and I don't know what our plans move going forward will be, um, but obviously whatever it would be, would be Allie and I. And so, right. um, you know, I just, um, we just, we just wanted to, to let you guys know, um, you know, that that's what, that's what's happening. That's what the deal is. I wouldn't know. Yeah. So I wouldn't, we would, we think that you, we have to be honest about that, but we also, I think it was like a little 150 ish dollars or something. I don't know, but we, I wouldn't know even if it did go to me what to do about it because we don't, right. There's so many people donated and stuff. So, and I don't know what that channel is planning on moving for, you know, doing as far as calls and stuff. And maybe that will go towards more. I don't know, mm -hmm. but we just wanted you guys to know well, like, what was going on so right right because when we were all working the three of us were working together there was there was usually money left over and when there there was money left over or money was re refunded we just used that money and put it back towards buying to purchasing more calls so right. um but you know well we don't have just, it michelle that's the thing yeah but uh we might we might still do calls we don't know we're gonna see where we're at i also right. would love to do like Okay, I was thinking Kayla Montgomery's proffer interview, like after the trial, won't that won't we be mm -hmm. able to get that? We should. <clears throat> we should. It, I mean, we should be able to get it. As, 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 as far as now, the fact that they put into her proffer that sh that they want her to testify in any trial where they require her to testify makes me there they don't just put that in there for no reason and so it makes me think that there's a possibility that there are more charges pending or coming at some point for um <clears throat> adam but as to what i don't i mean it, it can't be related to harmony i wouldn't think because they would just put that all in this trial so <clears throat> i i don't know what she could have told them beyond what we know from the court testimony, beyond what we know, what was put in the arrest affidavit, beyond what she's already testified to. And mainly um, what we don't, we only know like the stuff that um, when the cross, when she was on cross and the um, defense attorney would say, well, here on this page, yada, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. And, you know, didn't you say, um, <clears throat> so I don't know. Um, what else she told them that would not, that might pertain to something else. And, but I mean, all we can do is ask. That's a long way to go to say, um, long story short, we can always ask. 
um, teacup. I mean, yeah, we we could, you know, whatever we would want to do that you guys would want to do. I do think that we should consider um, getting some of the stuff from Adam's case. I wonder if other people will try to do that. I'm sure they will. So mm -hmm. we'll probably have to do it immediately. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, I don't know. <coughs> But Mela's mom says she thinks charges are coming for um, Kayla. And that's interesting. I can't that believe it, Jen. Mean, what? You know how last night I told you on the phone, like, oh, my God, it just took me in the YouTube studio app and it's letting me replace an emoji. Remember? And I was. Yes, like, yes, I, yes, I don't yes. Know how it, so it wouldn't let me add new ones, but it let me remove some and replace it with that. Oh. Uh, and the one for Harmony worked. And it's, it's the one I wanted to put for harmony and it's a little, um, Minnie mouse, like with oh, the I love that. bow and it says love in the face. It's so cute. So I'm happy about that. But, um, um, hold on. Be there was a question and I wanted to answer this. Hold on. Um, okay. Oh, that. shining pop star. Can you get the info from Sarah Boone's eight defense attorneys? I already, Okay. So, Shiny, I did on my channel, I did go over what it was that caused the other attorneys to leave. I did a lot. I did do a live on that. Um, I'll, um, and I and I know that it's it's um, in the description. I just can't remember exactly which one I did. Um, which live it is or what the exact title is. Cause that's been a minute, but yeah, I did. I did go over that and why they left. Mm -hmm. uh, did oh, we get we any of that. whose kites? Uh, Sarah Boone's I've not, I haven't requested anything in Sarah's case. Um, although Florida is like the chillest with that kind of stuff. I probably could get it. Um, I mean, I, I am weirdly, interested in hearing the calls that she makes to her, but the, we wouldn't get them. I would like to hear when she places a call to the attorney's phone, her for not this attorney, but the one before. And um, you know how she were um, recorded every, or, you know, documented every single time she called and it doesn't work. I would just want to hear that connection where she gets irritated that it doesn't go through. <laughs> But we won't get that. I, we would never get that because it's uh, privileged. It's a privileged conversation. So. Yeah, creative. We do have um, more stuff coming from Tisha Steele and mm -hmm. video calls, and and we can it's we can always get more if we really wanted to. I mean, we can do whatever we want, uh, and what you guys want. So, thank you, Megan. I appreciate that so much. Original and. Lynn, we I don't know. T-Pags original calls. I Thank think you, is what Megan. that says. I, appreciate says. That. I think that's what Okay, look at this. I'm just going to play this video. Uh, it's only 30 seconds long, and then we'll okay. let you guys go. We've okay. been here forever, and I'm freezing. But <laughs> I, I forgot to are outside, crazy girl. I know. Well, I, it's okay until the sun goes down, and then it's like, freaking cold but watch this so this is at the trial will cook and josh tolini are sharing a cup look at tisha there i wish i man i wish i had a screenshot of that face i'm gonna go in and get that for our next <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> for our overlays <laughs> um but anyways okay watch this you like my evil laugh there <laughs> 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 okay. And I was doing my fingers like back and forth. Oh and my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here. Look at that face. Oh my God. Okay, Will gets a drink. Can I have one? He's like, This? Sure. Look at Tisha. She's like, <laughs> what Keep your cooties hell? over there. <laughs> That's what Tisha said. Keep your cooties over there. And her dad thinks she looked humongous here. Oh, was humongous it, that was after that, 
humongous might be a stretch. I mean, she's clearly put on some weight, but let's be honest. I mean, when they say it, you're not on like a keto diet, okay, in, in the clink, all right? It's not like you're getting organic veggies, steamed veggies, you know, healthy foods. You know what I'm saying? You're getting a lot of processed foods and a lot of carbs. So, yeah. Um, Adrian, we should do it on Adam. And no, I don't think she looks humongous. I'm just saying this is what they were talking about because remember that was on yes. the phone calls from prison call. Yeah. Yes. And that was after the trial. Leslie, thank you for being a member for four months. She said, love y'all. Also love the people in the chat. Just want to say, don't listen to the negative stuff people say since this split. Y'all are great. Oh, you thank guys you. are great. And thank you. And thank I don't think that much. I, I meant to say thank you. Um, I think this, these came during the call. Um, Elena, thank you. Elena, how do I say your name correctly? Elena, Elena. It's pretty no matter what, but thank you so much for the super sticker. And Stacy, thank you for the super sticker. And then Sparkles, a million sparkles said, remember to thumbs our girls up, darlings. And thank you been a, for being a member for five months. <sighs> okay, let's watch that just one more time. Just because okay. I, need, I need to see it again. Bridget, no, there's no real split. We just used to do calls with another channel and we have since went separate ways and, um, and that's it. Yeah. Just because sometimes it bees like that. Sometimes shit just don't work out. Yep. That's the way life is. Hey, look, sometimes you're meant to be friends with somebody for a month, sometimes a few years, sometimes a lifetime. It just depends. And that's just the way it is. And, you know, everything happens for a reason. And I'm pretty happy no matter what here yeah. with you guys and with you, Bendy. And I think that we're doing great. So, okay, let's watch this again. Okay. And, you know, I don't, I wish, I don't wish negative. I don't wish bad things no. for anybody. Mm -mm. I wish I, I wish nothing but success. Yep. Okay. Look at Tisha there. That face. I got to get that for. <laughs> I would <laughs> love to wait. know what that side eye is about. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't remember what <laughs> was going either. on. <laughs> Me neither. Okay. Will Cook gets a drink. <laughs> what in the world? I just can't get over that. <laughs> Tisha and her buddy. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I want to know what Amber. they're saying. He's probably like, I ain't drinking the rest of that. Aw, thank you. <laughs> Amber, yes, you're freaking awesome. And I just love you to pieces. Hey, Deeds. I've been listening and sewing. Deeds, Good what to up? see you. Aw. I'd like to stay for a lifetime. Oh, I'd love you to stay for a lifetime, too. You guys are just the best. All right. Well, I guess tomorrow we have more calls on your channel, Bendy. And um, okay, then we get okay. back into the trial. Sleuth Mom's coming on Monday. Yes. I'm going to keep looking at the... Wait, I, wait, wait, babe. I'm going to do something. Okay, what are we going to do on... We, wait, 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 wait. Back the milk truck up. There's no court Monday. Remember, it's a holiday. Oh, shoot. Oh, Okay. Well, she said that's her only day. She's free next week. I wonder if we should have okay. her on just to talk about all the things we that have happened. All the so things. Far. We'll just talk about okay. a big, yeah, because I would really like to hear um, Sleuth, Sleuth Mom's, I can't talk, opinions on a lot of the stuff that's occurred. And I really want to hear what she thinks about who this uh, new, uh, this, this tip caller in her is. Is that even a word? Tip caller in her? Yeah, it is now. I, I can't wait to hear that too. And yeah, I want to get her opinions on that as well. Um, I just can't wait to find out what the heck's going on with that. But okay, yeah, let's just do that. And then um, we'll get back to it on Tuesday. Yeah, that'll work. Aries, I am not going to do a live later, babe. I am fine tuning. It's almost there. The first part of the documentary. I think... Um, I don't know. I I I need to. I think I'm going to put a poll up on the on the community page and ask you guys how long is too long for a documentary for you guys, because I think I'm right at with this last with this part here. I think I'm right about 45 minutes or something like 45 or 50 minutes somewhere. Wow. In there. 
So, Dang. I mean, I don't know how you guys want to do it. And if that's too long, you know, I, I saw some, some documentaries and are like 20 minutes, but um, it, yeah, it's not long enough for me. Like there's a lot of, there's still for just for this half, if I stopped it right here where it's at, we wouldn't have, e we wouldn't even be to the point. I mean, we would be right to where, um, Nick and Gypsy start communicating. So, um, oh, I can't you know. wait. And, um, yeah, no, I don't have deets in my bot. I'm gonna go get it though. Uh, deets, are you gonna be covering? Yes, deets, I am gonna show it as a premiere, babe. I sure am. Are you, yeah, deets, are you gonna what cover you? Harmony's trial or uh, Adam Montgomery's trial? I look how I did your name, Amber. What is wrong with me? I don't know. I know, but I want to. I want to. I like to do that when, like, just like Humanimal, which thank yeah. you so much. She says, you girls are the hardest working, warmest, funniest YouTubers in existence. And Humanimal, Aww. I just adore her. I, I think you, she is just so brilliant, funny, so mm -hmm. beautiful. Uh, like, even fashion has great fashion. <laughs> I just love her so much. So, you guys should check <laughs> her out. No, I love dropping the channels when they come in. Me and too. Of course, I these. think it's good to support people. You know, I, I'm a huge believer. I was talking about this with Ali the other day. I'm really a huge believer in someone else's success does not deter from my success. So mm -hmm. meaning if I, if, if Ali is successful, that does not take away from any success I have or may potentially have. Do you know what I mean? I think it's good to encourage each other and to be supportive. Well, listen, now, you know, I'm not a whole ass marshmallow or nothing. I'm not going to get all mushy or anything like that. I tell my friends the truth. If they do some, if, if they ask me for my opinion, ask Ali, she'll tell you, I give it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I try. I've been. I'm better now. I I have more tact now that I'm uh, older. I know Allie's Michelle sitting over there thinking, "Jesus fuck, this is better. This is more tact." <laughs> no, How not. were you before? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not. Um, do you have a channel, Michelle? I don't know if you were joking, um, but she says, no, I've been watching it, though. So many are covering it, and I love hearing everyone's takes on it. So many are covering it. They're. Yeah, I get like that too, where I almost like I'm like, should I cover it? Because there's so many people covering something. I'm just I cover kidding. What <laughs> I, <laughs> I cover whatever I'm interested in, regardless of who's covering it or how many people are covering it. Yeah, because I'm interested in this case. I've been interested in it. I followed it like I followed Gannon, like I followed Sarah yeah. Boone. Listen, I don't give a rat's fat kneecap. I could. It, it, even if it takes 11 billion years for Sarah Boone to go to trial, dadgummit, I'm going to cover that thing. I don't care. I will wait. I will wait you out, Sarah Boone. I will wait. Humanimal, that's one of the best things about you. She said, yep, I give it to Allie knows that. <laughs> Giving her opinion. Honesty is the best um, policy. That's right. <laughs> a million sparkles, whatever. I do what I want. <laughs> well, Amber said, I get like that too, but it's like with Idaho, like, mm -hmm. okay, for instance, that one is being covered so much without even any real new information. But even if there was new information, I don't know that I would cover and I'm going to cover the trial just because I'm of interested course. in it. I can't wait to see every detail of that, but of I don't really like cover every little thing that comes out just because so many people are already covering it. Me too. That's how I feel about it. I'm I'm more interested in the in the trial because at this point I feel like um, even when new stuff does come out, it's not huge. It's not anything. It's part of the process, so it's nothing like I don't want to. It's earth shattering to me. You know, I'll just wait um, and I will see what what. The trial holds in store and there's a ton of other trials that are coming up and hell there's uh probably uh trials that i are, are are coming up real quick that i forgot about that i wanted to cover so you know yeah me too me too um 
the John O'Keefe case. Deet says she's like that with the John O'Keefe case. She's dug so deep, but everyone and their dog is covering it now. I think I don't, they that's do one it, I don't. Do you know anything about that one? I don't. I've they seen call it the Karen Reed case, but it's really the victim is John O'Keefe. But it's now become the Karen Reed case. That's usually what people title their videos or whatever. Yep, but it's John O'Keefe is yep. the video. John O'Keefe is the victim in that case. It's really his case. Um, Deets, I think that you should cover it. I really do. You have dug very deep into it. You're and one. I I watch you. And when I, I've watched you do deep dives and you're very, very detail oriented. And I, oh my am, gosh, yes. I am a huge believer in the devil is in the details. It is always those tiny, tiny details that yeah. get overlooked. And you never know, Deets, um, what you your attention to details might spark in another person. Somebody was watching the trial uh, one day this week, I, they were what they called. They were watching the trial and they called in on Tuesday night. They called in a tip. Right. I mean, this I mean, they've been at that, you know, they have been looking for harmony forever and they had a tip line and everything like that way before Adam was ever charged with this crime. But somehow something somebody said at some point during the trial triggered a memory in somebody so much so that they called in a tip to the tip line. So you never know. And I think you should do it. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree. And you, I just enjoy her coverage on everything she covers, honestly, because you always do it respectfully. Honestly, mm -hmm. I know you're, do you do pay attention to detail? You're not like into the, like the salaciousness, like making something. I don't know. I just think that you are, have a look, cover it respectfully, just like you, Bendy, Amber, you know, I, human yeah. animal. I, I by think, the way, yes, go ahead. I well, think okay, we should just, co cover cases as if it were our loved one. That's my philosophy. I saw you it were, say that. I agree. You're right. Yeah. If it were my loved one, how would I want it to be? How would I want them to be represented? Yeah. And uh -huh. I just dropped safe mom and disorder in the court and checkmate humanity. I enjoyed Lynn coming on with us so much last night. Um, and she has a great channel and sleuth mom and her have both been streaming it. So harmony, uh, you know, harmony's case, Adam's trial. So anyways, all right, Bendy, I'm going to go because my dad just are you in, tr tried are you in trouble? Me and he needs uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, he's like, he needs me to come over there for a minute, so I'm gonna have to go <laughs> and go see what's going on. But anyway, <laughs> thanks right. so much for um, the time and effort and all the stuff that goes into making those calls for us. You had to go through a lot for the month of March, um, a whole lot. So I just, yeah, thank you so much for doing it because I know. Um. It was like three times as much as the April one that I'm doing. So it, I know it that's was not, not easy. the I, well, listen, I'm going to say it like this. You're welcome. I, I did it out of love. And I'm telling you right now, if I would have had my computer when I started the calls, it would have gone a lot faster and have been a whole lot easier. So now that I have it, right. you see you here, I clearly don't have a debook because there's been no debook <laughs> audio this, the last two streams. And I think that my laptop is just like, done with me it's like bitch i've done enough i got you to this point now you're trying to be extra and do extra shit yeah. and fancy shit so you need a fancier setup and i ain't it <laughs> hey, you, haven't had me. <laughs> you have not had any um elena yes let me oh man i, I asked you a question and didn't even see your answer to it but um there is nice nice link um okay, okay well we'll see you guys tomorrow i'm gonna do something tomorrow i don't know yet whether it's gonna be a new case i've got a few um stories and videos saved for like a true crime news of a few things that have happened and um so i don't know i'm gonna do something though so and then we'll be on gins tomorrow night doing so all right thank you guys for everything thank you to the mods Thank you to the chat. You guys are just awesome. And I appreciate you so much. And um, Jen, thank you. Thank you for thank being you. here and doing this with me. I just I love it so you. much. I know I have and the best time and your, your overlays are everything. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to make some more. I'm going to get to that because. <laughs>
It's the other one. Where's the one with the lawyer? That's my favorite one. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, that gentleman is wearing a t-shirt underneath his suit and tie that says you're fucked either way. He knows the score. He knows Keisha sucks. <laughs> Look at her face. Oh my God. And his face, which I didn't even notice till you said that. That is so yeah. funny. Uh, Alana, it rhymes with banana. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Awesome. That is such a pretty name. I love that name. All right. She looks like she's <laughs> okay. trying to be kids in the hall. Do y'all remember that? I'm crushing your head. Look at what I'm doing. Look at me. I'm crushing your head. That's what she looks like she's doing. Like she's trying to harness all her evil and make somebody's head explode. But really, she just poop <laughs> in her pants. <laughs> I have no idea. And then he's like, oh, my God. He's like, man, I just drank my law partner's cup because that's how desperate I am. I need, some, is it vodka 30? It needs to be vodka 30. Yeah. Poor man looks like he needs oh. a drink. KPM brought me back real quick. Um, that is just oh, horrific. Yeah. But okay, you guys. Um, oh, I don't even want to say it out loud. I, I, I say it. Yeah, I got yeah. it. Um, anyways, you guys. All right. right though. Yes, I just said it right, Michelle. It's Alana, like banana. Alana, um, banana. Yes. Poor baby, man. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, have a great night, and um, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye.